Anyway, let me turn on my mic, and then we'll get started. <laughs> I muted my mic. Well, good thing you didn't hear all that. Um, anyway, hey, what's up, everyone? It's Abdallah here. Um, we're back, and I was just talking about how much I love the game. That's all. Um, yeah, I was recording some tutorials. I got some cool stuff going on. I actually picked up my mug this time around. Um, I got a lot of feedback that none of you guys actually like Harry Potter. So I brought my Pikachu mug and said, so... Um, yeah, are you ready? <laughs> None of you guys like Harry Potter? Get out of here. So, what we're doing today is we're going to be continuing our Pokedex. Um, shout out to all of you guys in chat. Um, thanks for coming. Hello. Hold on. Wow, that's me. Wow, hello. That is me right there. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. Okay, anyway. We're going to be filling up this Pokedex. I'm excited. Talk to me about it. Talk to me about this Pokedex and tell me why you're so excited about it. How uh, how far are you guys in the game so far? Have you been playing this game right alongside with me? I hope you have. Let's go. No, you did not catch a shiny Cyndaquil in Oshawa. I don't believe that. I don't believe that, Jake. Not one bit, dude. <laughs> not one bit. <laughs> Pixar, it didn't happen, man. Anyway. It's good to see you all. Let's go. Uh, we're going to pop some stuff out, and we're going to get started. So I am so pumped. You've been playing for four days straight? Oh my gosh, J-Mac, four days straight? I've been playing for like 10 days straight? <laughs> Yo, Color, you got a shiny Alpha Star Raptor? Oh my gosh. Uh, Ty, you got a full odds shiny Apom? Wow, congratulations. Now's the time to flex all your shinies in chat. So, uh, yeah, Jordan, what did you get? Any shinies yet? Um, uh, Media Gemini got a full odds Buizel. I did too. Yeah, I caught that on my first playthrough. What's up, Gav? Good to see you. Two time distortions within two hours and both had a shiny starter in it. No way. J did you, like, record the, the screenshot? You press the screenshot button and, and record that or what? No way, man. You got your own shiny banana, Hoshiko? No way. Good job. What's up? Hey, Steph. Hey, Dragon Wing Springy. Uh, Bex J Mac. Uh, what's happening, Stefan? I wanted to say really quick before we get started. Uh, thank you for subscribing. You guys are amazing. Um, I see a lot of channel growth over here simply because we're playing a really awesome game. And I love it that you guys are all part of it. So uh, definitely take a look at our tips and tricks series. Um, all of your answers are going to be over there. If you have any suggestions on what other uh, Pokemon tips and tricks tutorials we're going to work on, uh, by all means, let me know. We got tons uh, in the pipeline, so definitely take a look at that. Um, other than that, I did want to say thanks to some of the people that have picked up the merch. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to give some shout-outs to more, the more recent people that, that helped support the Abdallah merch. Uh, going to AbdallahSmash.com. We had Ali uh, on his birthday buy some of the merch, which is really awesome. Jose, uh, we had Caitlin, um, I saw Megan, uh, we had Alex, Kathy, Jennifer, uh, Sherry, uh, Shirley, Daryl, a lot of you guys. Eva bought a mug. Uh, Ryan Skinner, Danielle got a couple items. Kylie, um, Anna, Julie, hello, Lena, uh, shout out to Felix, Deborah, all of you guys. Gavin got a mug too. Oh man, you guys are great. So anyway, thanks for picking up the Legend I, um, merch right over here. We got mug, we got everything. Get it, dollasmash.com. All right, you guys ready to do this? Show me some big hype in the chat. If you didn't already share the stream, let's go ahead and take a minute to do so. We are going to finish up this Pokedex, and it's going to be so much fun. So I personally cannot wait. Let's finish it up. Let's finish it up. I'm going to tweet right now. Let's finish up the Pokedex. We're so close. Boom. Done. Tweet that out. I'm going to put it on Facebook. You guys all follow me on Facebook, right? What do you like Facebook for? Keeping up with the friends? Done. All right, I'm 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 very excited for this because like I, I'm still on the high from last night uh, in the previous episode when we were just catching Pokemon and, and checking them off lists. So that's one of my favorite things to do. All right, good job. All right, y'all ready for this? <laughs> Let's hit it. <laughs> oh, the glasses are coming off, man. <laughs> Ooh, boy, I'm so, so pumped for this episode. 
I have to actually see who we're gonna go out and catch. 43 balls, yeah, we're good. Gigaton, we got wings. Yeah, we got we got good stuff. Give me a little a little rundown of who we're getting. Oh, we're gonna go into the ice area. Yeah, I'm gonna go mess around in ice and see who we can get. Uh, Cleaver Scissor, I need. Uh, Petalo's gonna need a stone. Uh, Galade, I can get all these in the ice area. Um, ice area, I'm looking at Alabasta. Don't talk to me about Spiritum. Unknown is 142. Machamp is in ice. Um, Empoleon is in the um, other one over there. We can go, I can honestly do that one easily. Ninetales is in water. That's in water. Magmortar is in evolution. So that's actually, there's actually a lot, a lot to do. Garchomp is in the very top. We can go get that thing. Uh, Voltorb is an evolution. Uh, Miss Magius is also available as an alpha. Who's 199? Who's 199? Oh, Cleffa Clefable? Yeah. You know what? Let's just go. Let's, let's just go. <laughs> let's do this. All right. So our very first Pokemon that we're going to get to go get is, uh, you know, just the ice. Let's go hang on Alabaster Ice Lens for this episode and get whoever, whoever we can get. So I'm ready. Let's do it. I am, I'm actually like really excited for this because it's, that's what I wanted to do for so long. We went through the story, we breezed through the story. Um, after breezing through the story, now it's like collecting one of every Pokemon. And then we're going to go back and beat all the research tasks for all those Pokemon. It's going to be good. Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdali here with even more Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's continue on our uh, Pokedex filling quest, where we're going to go out over to the Alabaster Icelands. There's going to be tons of Pokemon in this area that we're going to find and catch and fill up our Pokedex. It's going to be so much fun. Anyway, uh, that being said, what I want to do now is I want to just fly on over and uh, let's go get some Pokemon. Yeah, you guys excited for some Pokemon? Oh, I know I am. I know I am. Um, simply because I need to climb. Come on, dude, go. All right, we're going to climb. I'm going to go over to this area, and what we're going to do over here is try to find all of the... I'm going to try to find Riolu. I'm going to try to find uh, Garchomp. Um, we're going to try to find as many of these Pokemon as possible. And I know that Riolu is sometimes going to be right over in this area in Icebound Falls. So I think I see one right here. There there one is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. I don't want to do that battle with Coin or whatever the, her name is. Okay. We, we see a Riolu. Riolu. Uh, let me do... Um, ooh, ooh, that's a wing ball opportunity right there. Or... If I get a little closer. Boom, Riolu in the back. I don't, you know what? I do want to fight her. Perfect. Okay, that's exactly what we needed. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to absolutely destroy her. So let's go, come here. Charm, you stop where you are. Now, if you ever see Charm, Coin, or whatever their names are, Clover, I forget their names. Um, if you ever see them just in the overworld, do take the three minutes and battle them. You're going to actually get very well paid for doing so. So here's Rhydon. Let's beat him up. Let's beat him up. Okay, what's Rhydon going to do besides get owned right now by the Steel Beam? Or a Flash Cannon? Yeah, Steel Beam would have been really awesome to have this to learn on here, but we're good. Okay, goodbye, Rhydon. We got ourselves a Riolu, which is a great start. That's one Pokemon left. So that's 194 out of 242. Who's counting at home? Okay, so I just got Drowsy. That's really great. And I ate a Shadow Ball. Hmm. So Charm is, I think, the older one, right? So we're going to just do an Earth Power because there's no Levitate in this game. Gengar does not have Levitate. So we can hit him with a Ground-type move. How does that work? Anyway, two turns of battle, which is what? Not even a minute long. And you have Dialga on your team, so you're good. Um, by doing that, not only are we getting this yummy experience, but we're also getting some nuggets. Now, this is going to be a precursor to whenever you do a battle in Pokemon, um, they pay you, right? Like, I beat Youngster Joey, and I received 200 Poke Dollars. Now it's like, boom. Yo, she dropped something when she fled. Here we go, four nuggets. That's like, what, 20,000 bucks? I don't know, it's awesome. 
Um, I think I have Lucario already, so let's go take a look at the Alpha that's nearby. But ultimately, what I want to do is I want to catch the strongest Alpha in the game, which is going to be the Alpha Garchomp. The Alpha Garchomp is so cool. Alright, let's take a look around over here. And there's a Crobat in case you need a wild flying Crobat. That's so funny. It's just chilling right there. So I'm going to take a look at this guy. What up? Do I have him? I don't know if I have him. Let me actually take a look at the Pokedex. I do have, yeah, I do have him. And I have Riolu, so we're, we're actually good. I don't need to go mess around with him. Oh my gosh, wow, wow, why did you do that to me? I gotta go, I gotta go, stop locking on. <laughs> what just happened? I legit pressed um, stop locking on, but then uh, I, was, I was fixated. It's some sort of hold on me. All right, anyway, um, Alabaster Iceland's right over here in this area is where we're going to find the uh, strongest Pokemon. Strongest wild Pokemon of the game, which is right here. Okay, as you can see, we got a little baby. The little baby is coming over here, and it's just going to be very... It's a level 21, so... A Gibble... Uh, number defeated. I mean, I guess defeated with ice type moves. I'm gonna go beat him. Oh, not with you. Dang it. That's a misclick. Here's a Gibble. Watch out, little guy. So, Garchomp. This is a level 85 Garchomp. I would really only recommend after you beat the game, come and go get him. Um, or, you know what? If you, if you got really strong Pokemon and you feel like trying your luck, go for it. Knock him out. Okay, so here we go. Is this thing sleeping? No, I wish it was. That would be amazing. I'm just gonna throw an Ultra Ball, just like this. Right in the back of the neck. Can we get a Garchomp for free, please? Of course not. Is it just gonna be this easy to catch it? No way. Two Ultra Balls? Okay, now he's upset. Um, He's upset. He kind of saw what I was doing here. <laughs> So we're going to take a quick lap, we're going to take a quick lap, and he's going to forget about us. And we're going to try a couple more Ultra Balls. But this is the best area where you can kind of crouch and, and gain some... You didn't see me. Okay, you know what? I'm going to fight you. Come here. Oh, he just spawned a baby. Oh gosh, no! I, um, I don't want to fight a baby. Because the mommies are here. Uh, that's okay. We can do a spatial and then knock it out. Honestly, we can do any move and knock it out. But it's cool that the Gibble just continuously respawn. So in case you want to farm them, hope for a shiny without the outbreak, uh, you can go ahead and do so. Anyway, here's Palkia versus Gigantic Garchomp. I think this is going to be a pretty epic battle. I'm going to try a spatial rend right off the... Oh my gosh! One hit KO, nice to meet you, dude. That's rude. This guy's way too strong to um, attack. I, I don't know, I'm gonna hit him with an Ice Beam. That's four times super effective. Eh, if he survives, that's cool. If he doesn't, then whatever. Oh, wow. Strong Style Outrage, good luck. Vaporeon ate a hit. Just one. Yeah, oh man. Uh, well, here's Banana. Wow, wow, this is crazy. All right, we're gonna do a Hypnosis. And I'm gonna miss it, as usual. And I'm gonna eat a hit. Big Outrage. Everyone's gone. Every single one of my Pokemon are gone. Uh, Sneasel is not gonna do anything. Dialga is at half health. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, this Pokemon will wreck your team. He's so, so strong. Um, so let's just do a false swipe. <laughs> oh, you know what? I gotta go. You're too, you're too strong for me. You gotta, you gotta go, dude. I wish, I wish. Let's do an Earth Power. 
One HP. He has one HP, everyone. This is insane. Do you see that little sliver of health right now? All I really need... Is this Eevee. No! You don't get a free hit! <sighs> okay. Cool. Alright, well. Adios! See you later, 1HP Garchomp. Good. Nice to meet you, dude. Alright, well, there's that. I mean... So, you can do the stealth catch? I'm gonna come back for him. I'm... You better believe I'm gonna come back for him, but let's just go get some other Pokemon in the meantime. Dude's way too tough. And, as you can see, I did not have a full team. Like, I had... An Eevee that's freeloading off of, you know, happiness or whatever. So, that is... That's rough. That's real rough. Um, let's go back to Avalanche Slopes and uh, go find some Pokemon. Yeah. And see, that's why I'm saying, like, you can get the stealth catch on him. 100% you can. It's just gonna take you a little bit more time and patience. And for me, I didn't really have time and patience. I gave him, like, two Ultra Balls and I'm like, alright, come on, let's go. So... That's all right. We're good. I lost a couple friendship points with Eevee over here because of that, unfortunately. Because Eevee got knocked out. I could have thrown one Ultra Ball, man. All right. No big deal. No sweat off my back. We are going to be fine. We're going to be fine because you know what? We got a Riolu. Uh, we fought a Garchomp. I'm gonna go and try to get a Frostlass and some Misdreavus. It's gonna be right over here in this little spot. We can Alpha Frostlass. So you don't have to worry about finding a Snow Runt that is... Oh my gosh, never mind, never mind. I'm sorry, I thought I was gonna get the Frostlass. This is the Frostlass and the... Where is the space-time distortion? Oh, here, cool. Yeah, we're nearby. Great. Yeah, we're gonna go do the space-time distortion. Honestly, we haven't had one in the past, like, four hours, so... Alright, let's go. There's my space-time distortion right around the corner from where I want it to be. We might find some Pokemon that I need to catch. There's a Bomb of Snow, which is fun. Um, over here, we got a Pylo Swine. I mean, I got a Pylo Swine, and I don't really want to waste my Pokeballs getting another one. I mean, I could go mess around with these little guys, though. You might as well, right? Here's... Oh, hi, dude. I'm trying to get your kid here. Okay, so him. Uh, number caught. Uh, seen use Ice Shard. I mean, he's kind of docile right now, so I'm just gonna, you know, we're gonna catch him. <laughs> we're just gonna catch that guy. That's an extra um, thing right over that way. Who's this? Electabuzz? Yeah, it's just a regular... Ouch. I was just a regular old Electabuzz, so... You know what? Wow, that's so good. My arm just went, like, limp halfway through that throw. That was pretty bad. Alright, well, we're just waiting for this time space... Uh, Space-time distortion to, um, show up. And... We're golden. So, in the meantime, I can catch some little piggies. Hello, little guy. And there's a bomb of snow right over here that I could just easily pelt with an Ultra Ball. He is ready. Oh, gosh. Nope. Okay, cool. Stop what you're doing and go get the space-time distortion, right? Well, there's an Alpha. I mean, we are on a little Alpha kick right now. Ow. Dude, what? That hit him in the back. Get out of here. <laughs> I got robbed. So Machoke. I think we're good with Machoke's dex entries. Um, yeah. Wow, he nimbly dodged out of the way. Did not catch him. That's fair. This guy. Yo, he's got really good hearing for some reason. And monkey? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Get ready. Get ready. Okay, space-time distortion is here. Who's coming? Oh, do -ot. Cool. Don't mind if I do-ot. Don't mind if I do-ot. 
Let's go. Uh, have a spatial rend. You can survive that. Or not. Great. Okay, we're just not gonna do spatial rend. Maybe it was a bad idea. That's why the game's like, dude, don't do it. Yeah, that would have been a very bad idea. Yeah, spatial rend probably would have destroyed him. So, good thing I missed. Alright, here we go. Don't mind if we do what? So since we're in post-game, we have access to the starters now, and this is the starter second evolution. Um, it's unfortunate... It's unfortunate that... I'm... I don't have the little Oshawott first. Perfect. Okay, that's great. Duot, good job. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so Duot was one static spawn. Beautiful. Let's find out who the other static spawns are. Uh, there's an Eevee over there. Who else? Do I need any of those guys? No. There's two more static spawns uh, floating around in the distortion. We have to find them. A so oh my gosh! Yes! Where? You're not. A that's not a static spawn. That's just a teleporter, and that'll save me on a metal code. You guys realize that, right? Level 60. I, I need him. I, I don't have a move that's... These are all accurate. I mean, if I do, like, a 20% less... I don't know. Go banana, man. Banana better put this thing to sleep. I don't know. I love this. I need this so bad. Fight. Hypnosis. I don't want to hit him with a Shadow Ball. I don't want to hit him with anything. I don't have, like, a weak, non not super effective attack. Bullet punch hurts. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna go. We're gonna start pelting Ultra Balls. Um, at like 40% health. It's not the best strategy, but I don't have anything else right now. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. Oh, that's so good. I took a I did a double take on that. That saves me a metal coat. This is so beneficial right now. No? Okay, so Oshawott is here. Can confirm. I gotta get rid of his bodyguards by uh, just kind of walking around a little bit more. Teleporting his bodyguards over here would be best. Come on. There we go. Okay, so I teleported his bodyguards over here. We're gonna run up. We're gonna rush him. And then we're going to catch this little baby, and that's a starter. That's great. And we have Duwat, too, which is so good. Um, I'm going to do a very, very light Earth Power. It's an Agile style, 20% less damage. You should be able to take it. Good. Perfect. Hydro Pump. Cool. Bring it on. That's four times resisted with Palkia here. All right. This is perfect. So here we go. Here's an Ultra Ball. So there's one more static encounter in this space-time distortion. We have to find it. Perfect. Look at that. Just like clockwork, man. And I can't believe that we got a scissor. Okay, Raichu, I already have, so I'm not gonna write you a love song. No, ow. Uh, I don't need those guys. So let's find out. Where in this area could our next friend be? Got some Stardust. We're collecting all of our items. A Thunderstone randomly. That's kind of cool. Although I need a Leaf Stone. I don't really need a Thunderstone at all. Where's our spawn? Stardust. Uh, hello, Walrein. Are you guarding? Duot Oshawott is fine. Like, I'm okay with collecting those. Ow, oh, dude, don't. Don't do that. Come on. Oh my gosh, I'm getting stuck. Uh, is it behind here? Maybe there's a Pokemon behind and or up here? There's no one up here. Yeah, I don't know. I can't, I can't seem to locate the third spawn. Maybe there's only two today. Scyther... Who else? Tangrowth, Celio. I'm good. Don't need those guys. 
but yeah, so when you're uh, whenever you're in the space-time distortion like that, you want to just keep on looking around. Force them to respawn so you get a different pool of Pokemon. And if I only really got just those two, I'm honestly happy. Because those are the two Pokemon that I was worried that I wouldn't get. Elect there's a Pikachu. That's so funny. Remember we were trying to find Pikachu? We were trying to find Pikachu and I couldn't, so... I mean, getting that Pikachu would be pretty good. I'm aiming for Pikachu, yeah? Pikachu's here? Electabuzz and Pikachu? Alright, so let's, uh... Oh, all three of them? You know, I'm gonna catch Pikachu, because, uh... I, I like Pikachu. And I've never caught one before. I've only evolved them. So, we might as well. And I can knock out these other guys perfectly fine. If you want to do a Rapidash, or a, a Double Edge, go for it, Rapidash. Pikachu, what do you got? A Thunder? That hurts. I don't think I could take much more. Yeah, I definitely can't. But we got Dialga, that'll definitely help out here, so. Um, yeah, get rid of the Rapidash right now. With Earth Power. And then we got Pikachu all to ourselves. I can throw an Agile-style Rock move at it. And then I think that should bring it to around, like, 40% health. Here's a Spark. Ouch, dude. Let's go Agile-style Power Gem. It's light. Doesn't do that much damage. Provided is a crit. Okay, cool. There goes that. Not what I uh, wanted. Graveler. Here's another Pikachu. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Pikachu! And you got this wall, Ryan? I mean... <sighs> Here. <laughs> I got another chance at Pikachu. And I have the right Pokemon out that knows False Swipe, so I should be okay. Provided that I don't get destroyed. Good miss on the thunder. Love that. Uh, we're going to use another Drain Punch and go from there. Good job. Alright, Pikachu. Thunderbolt. That hurts, man. And I got paralyzed? Come on. Don't get paralyzed. There's a false swipe. Ooh, that's perfect. And that's the crit that I needed. Give me another false swipe. Just to... Just to... Oh my gosh. Really? I mean, if we're this far into it, I'm gonna use a false swipe just to get you, Pikachu. I choose you. Cure to paralysis, naturally. I love that. And we're done. Okay, no worries. That's cool. Sneasel, you're great. I love you, but... Um, yeah... We're just gonna... We're gonna keep on going. Give me Pikachu, now! Easy. It's one HP. There's no way. Okay, cool. My first Pikachu caught. Ugh, anyway. Cool items. Uh, let's see. I think we're good. I, honestly, I think we're good. I just want some more spawns to, to come out here. I found all the items. I got the two spawns in there. Uh, Walrein, I don't need that. Literally, this is like one of the only times that I've seen that there was only two spawns in here. So, good luck. There's another Pikachu and an Espeon, that's cool. Oh, they're all after me, that's cool. Come on. I mean, you can dodge their uh, their looks and then turn around and get them. But you know what? We're done with that. This is fine. Okay, GG's. That was absolutely amazing. It was so good. I need this little boy. Yeah, I need him so bad. Ow! <laughs> Who did that? Great. I got Snover. We're doing great right now. Uh, let me go back to where we were at before. Wow, I can't even tell what which, um, what number we're at on Pokemon because we got ourselves a Snover, we got ourselves a yeah a Duat, we got an Oshawott. Okay, here's a Bergmite. Okay, things are looking up. Things are looking really up right now. We're filling out this Dex. 
so good. Okay, so inside here is where we're going to get two Pokemon that we're going to need. I'm going to need a Miss Drevis. You can see Miss Drevis right over here. That was a back throw on Miss Drevis. That's a back throw on Miss Drevis. And we have our um, Eevee that's ready to evolve. So let's take a look. Um, Eevee is ready to evolve. I don't know if it's nighttime or daytime. It's too hard to tell right now. So I'm just not going to evolve it yet. This is our Frostlass. That was a side hit, unfortunately. So this is Frostlass. We're going to get this alpha. Oh, just like that. Cool. Oh, things are great right now. I love this. And this thing's down. What in the world? Iron chunk. I don't have space in my satchel. That's cool. All right. I love this. This is... I'm so happy. We just threw a wing ball and caught the Frostlass on a side hit. That thing just wanted to join us. Anyway. Um, so look at all these items that we got. We got an upgrade. We got a dusk uh, stone. We got some water stones. We got some rocks. I don't need any of these items here. We got four nuggets, a bunch of stardust, a bunch of shards, and all my berries here. So yeah, things are looking great. Okay, I'm going to sleep until it's officially nighttime. And then we're good. Oh, I can actually bring... I can actually bring a an Eevee over to the Icy Rock in order to be set with another Eevee, right? Okay, so I got baby doll eyes. We're going to get rid of that. Uh, th I'm not happening. This is not going to happen twice. So, anyway, remember, if you're trying to get Umbreon, it's based off of friendship at night, and you have to get rid of baby doll eyes on the move set. So, here we go. <laughs> Don't mess this up again. Uh, good to see you all. Thanks so much for hanging out today. There we go, Umbreon. Okay. Here we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Love that, love that. Okay, give me a spare Eevee. I know I have one in my boxes somewhere. Here's a spare Eevee. And we're going to bring that over to Icy Rock. Uh, let's do it. Yo, let's do it. Let's do it. So, Icy Rock, if you guys are looking at getting Glaceon in the game, is going to be located right over here. Uh, it's going to be... We can also, in the Icy Rock area, we can get the Zerua, the Hisui Zerua in the game. It's so fun. And there's, uh, there's a Haunter that I need. This is perfect. Alright, let's see what you got, Haunter. Turn around. Turn around. You know you want to. That's right. If I got Frostless with one wing ball, I should be able to get a Haunter. I don't think so, man. You are not running away. That's right. <laughs> that is right. Oh, man. We are catching Pokemon. Love this. Alright, where is the entrance? That's the Alpha Piggy. I think it's over here. Oh my gosh, where is it? Here we go. Ow. Okay, cool. Bergmite I have? I think. Hello. Hi. Um, I, I guess. Come on with. Why not? The more the merrier. Okay, here we are. Keep on going all the way over here. And this is going to be your area of opportunity for the Icy Rock and Eevee. Uh, this is going to be the Ice Rock. Boom, boom, boom. Go over here, click on your Eevee, click on Evolve, and then out of nowhere, the Eevee will evolve into a Glaceon for free. You don't even have to use an Ice Stone in order to do so, which is amazing. I love that. <clears throat> there we go. Cool. Add them to the list. Let's go. Up and add them. All right, uh, now the Zerua is what we're going to be looking for. This is arguably one of the best designs in all of Pokemon Legends Arceus. This is one of my favorite designs. There's another Haunter. Okay, Zerua should be over here. Yeah, yeah, you can see him over there. Please be shiny, please be shiny. I don't think so.
I hit the Zerua in the head. Well, if that's not a welcome, I don't know what is. It's a ghost, so false swipe is not going to work. There he is. He's just kind of being sad and mopey. Hi. May I catch you? Oh, he's going to sleep. Or he's just being a good boy. One of the two. Perfect. The Zerua can go in our team as soon as possible. And then we can just evolve it just from level up. Which is so good. I think that's how it evolves. I don't know. I gotta remember. But these little icy areas are kind of fun too. Like you can just kind of see all sorts of little things. Alright, so here we go. Flying out. I actually don't need to fly out. Since we got her as a Rua, let's put him on our team. Let's level him up and get the next one. Okay, here we go. I want to see my Pokemon. Um, Zerua, Zerua, Zerua. Here we are. You're level 26. We're going to move you instead of Glaceon. Uh, we have Sneasel. We got Palkia. Yeah, things are great. Things are great right now. So I love this. We got a lot. Of, you know what? Let's let's turn in our Pokemon and let's see exactly how great we got. We got 14. No way. But like the entries is probably a lot more than that, right? Look at that. Ooh, man, give me some money. Different species caught 12. Yo, where are we at now? Okay, we made some observations. We got 12 new Pokemon in this area. We did a space-time distortion. Things were great. Uh, I'm just going to continue my excursion. We got to go get that Garchomp still. So, uh, taking a look, our Pokedex is filling up. We went from 193 at the beginning to 204 right now. Oh my gosh, we, there's not much left. There's not much. Mamoswine will get. Avalug will get. Uh, Zerua we got. We're going to evolve it into here. Braviary's floating around. I'll be able to get that. Sneasler. We can go find some. Uh, Clefable, Clefairy. Garchomp. Electivire. We just gotta, you know, go back a little bit here. There's some of them that we have to revisit. Like the Evolutions, we're kind of done with. I just gotta go through and uh, find which ones are which. Uh, Leafeon we can go get. Uh, Jolteon I can easily use a Thunderstone for. You know what? Things are looking great. Let's continue on. I'm so pumped. Anyway, you guys are amazing. Thanks for watching. Seriously, you guys are great. <laughs> I love this. Good to see you all. What's up, Lainey? Kelly in the house. Hello. What's up, Zelda King? What's good? Um, yeah, I see a whole bunch of uh, questions in the chat. Um, what was the question? Let me see. Let me see. Da, 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 da. Something about like... The Wisps, Toxic Prism, if you're still watching, I got the Wisp Guide. Uh, you really only have to collect 106 of them. 107 and 108 are automatically given to you. So, anyway, good to see you. Uh, what's up, Mel? Hello, Kalia? Uh, Bex, Kayla, Hudson, Gracie, always a pleasure. What's up, Ryan? Hello, hello, Marie. Oh, man. Yo, yo, Luke, is that you? What's up, my guy? <laughs> hey, oh, you love that. Oh, that's my guy Luke right there. Great to see you. I hope you're doing well. Can't wait to see you again, man. <laughs> uh, Nikki, good to see you too. That nerd Chase, what's up? Uh, Kelly's here. Marie. Uh, Richard Sutton. Hannah Smart. Zon Biwa Grisama. What is going on? Oh, man. Please do. Please do reach out to me soon. Um, anyway, so yeah, we've got a lot more happening. Uh, these these Pokemon are just going to be really easy. I kind of want to go through and like write down which ones we got to get. We're so close to being there, right? Cyndaquil? I would have to look at my Distortions Guide to see where Cyndaquil is located. Um, yeah, Duat, I could honestly evolve into the final evolution, which is fine. Like, I can do that. Um, but the thing about this, look, look, let's hear me out, right? Here's a pro tip. If you catch an Oshawott, please make sure that before you evolve it, you go through and you do some of the things to get it to level 10. Because once you evolve it, then you can't do any more Oshawott research tasks unless you go and catch another one. So when I evolved my Rampardos and my Bastiodon, I'm like, dude, uh, those things are so rare. I should have legit done all the research beforehand. So whatever. Anyway, um, so yeah, I can I can easily do that. We are really needing Cyndaquil Quilava. Um I'm looking over here. It's going to be Jolteon. Jolteon's great. <sighs> Let's see what else. Uh, Jolteon. 
just knocking him out. Like, honestly, everything is great right now. 94 Petalil. I don't have a Leaf Stone. Uh, Kirlira Gardevoir. We'll get those. So, Jolteon. Jolteon. Uh, Kirlia. All the Gardevoir evolutions. Um, Ursa Luna. Yeah, right. Good luck finding that. Uh, Togetic. Uh, Gengar. I can use an item. Yeah. Yeah, I can absolutely use an item on that. Uh, this one's going to be unknown. 142. Um, a champ I can catch. Yeah, yeah. I'm a champ. Just kind of taking notes so I know where to go. Uh, Piplup. I have many of them, so I can evolve a Piplup. Yeah, let's put a Piplup on our team. We, if we put a Piplup on our team, we're golden. Uh, so that being said, I don't really need all of these Pokemon on my team right now. So let's take a look. That's a great idea, putting Piplup. Because I, I've honestly, I don't remember seeing... Uh, level 13, these little guys? Oh, okay, great. Sure. Uh, Zerua, Dialga, Banana, this is Sneasel and Palkia. Yeah, you know, Vaporeon doesn't need to be on the team. So here's Piplup, just gonna be mooching off that uh, <laughs> that experience. Um, Empoleon, we're gonna go catch the Alpha. Uh, 166. I don't know who that is. Vulpix Ninetales. I don't know. Uh, Magmordar. Electivire. Garchomp. Yeah, and then we gotta go get Garchomp. Uh, Voltorb is another evolution. Miss Magius, I know where that is. And then Clefable, Sneasler. Yeah, g getting a Razor Claw drop is going to be really hard. So we'll have to see about that. Mamoswine, I'll go get Mamoswine. There's a lot. Bergmite Avalug. Okay, 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 okay. Zeruzor, Braviary. I need to go get that. You know, there's there's still a lot. There's still a lot that I can do in this area. So I'm, I'm so excited for it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Seriously. All right, you guys ready for the next one? Little ne Next little half, we got ourselves a breather. Got to chat with you guys for a little bit. Oh, man. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. And yeah, I do need Vulpix. That's going to be a hard spawn to get. So anyway, thanks for sharing the stream. You guys are great. Get some more people out here. If you haven't already shared the stream on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, do it. Do it right now. Let's do it. Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah here with even more Pokemon Legends Arceus. We are on our way to go through and get so many evolutions and filling up our Pokedex. I'm so, so excited. So what we're going to be doing right now is I'm going to do a quick evolution for an Eevee. Uh, we know that we need to get our Jolteon, right? So if I go over to my box this way, I know for a fact that I've got a Thunderstone. Uh, this one is here. I got three of them for some reason. Don't need three, ever. Uh, so let's just do that. Let's just do a Thunderstone and evolve our Eevee. And then that means that all of our Eevee are ready to evolve minus the Leafeon, which I didn't do so yet. But next time we're in the Obsidian Fieldlands, we can easily go get that. So I'm very, very excited for that. Jolteon! I love Jolteon. Generation 1 Jolteon, probably the best electric type in the game. Outside of Zapdos, of course. Uh, anyway, I digress. But he was really good. But in the first generation of Pokemon where you only get one Eevee, who would you evolve it into? A Jolteon? A Vaporeon? Or a Flareon? That's a big question. All right, here we go. Because you only get one in that game. Man. And it was like a gift Pokemon. Okay, so here we go. Let's go all the way over to uh, Hearts Craig. Hearts Crag. Hearts Crag right now, and we're gonna go find ourselves potentially a Kirlia, potentially a Gardevoir, potentially a um, maybe some Ralts. We can find some Ralts. Oh, you know what? I have to make sure that it's daytime, so we're gonna go do that really quick. Let's go! Bum 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 bum. And I hope it's not. I hope that it's not like snowy. I like it when it's nice and sunny outside. All right, get ready. Uh, we are gonna go right over here. Hearts Crag. Just like press the A button in midair when you take a leap. That's so fun. On the way over to Gardevoir, we can 
We can get a Mammo Swine. If we go over to, like, Avalug's Legacy, right over by, like, Avalug's actual legs. Oh, dude, I'm here for it. Come here. Clover? I love Clover. The pigtails look great on you, girlfriend. Ah, Clover. Do we like Clover? Who's your favorite out of all of them? Clover Charm Coin? These are just weird names. Coin? You're gonna be called Coin. Your name is gonna be called Coin. I'm going banana over here. Banana's gonna do some work. Unbelievable. I was not expecting banana to come out on a level 62. Yeah, good job. Here's an ice move and we lose. We lose our Pokemon. Thank you. Thanks, coin. That was very rude. Yeah, she kind of does look like Candace if you think about it. Here's a hundred base power. Later, coin. I don't get it. How did I lose? You better give me some nuggets. And not the chicken variety. You small... Ooh, look who's ready to evolve. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can't believe you beat me again. It's impossible. Unless she has an Abra that allows her to teleport. Four nuggies. Alright, beautiful. Alright, so that was a little unfortunate that I lost my... I lost my balloon. I lost my balloon. I got plenty of pipl up here, so we're just going to evolve it right now. Um, again, if you don't have too many of the starters, I would say do all their Pokemon research levels before evolving them so that you can have the dex entry. So you don't have to go back and catch another one. But anyway, here's Primplup. Cool. Add it to the list. Add it to the list. All right, speaking of adding it to the list. Oh, there's an Avalug. Great. That's a Pokemon that we need. Look at this thing. And there's the Mamoswine. All in one frame? What do you know about it? Look at this thing slowly moving along with me. Hopefully it doesn't see me. Hello, Avalug. It is I. Your worst nightmare. Stop moving. Good job. I need that Mamoswine in my life. So it's an alpha. We're going to do our best. Perfect. Avalug done. All right, let's see about this Mamo. I don't know what it likes, but... Oh, oh yo, he just he just revealed his uh, back to me. Don't you ever... Oh, gosh. Huh! <laughs> Tell me that worked. Boo! He's like, yo, who did that? Seriously, who did that? I was enjoying a meal that came out of nowhere. He's like nodding his head. That's what they do when they know that you're there. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. I don't know what his favorite food is. But, don't look. Oh, he sees me. I'm white. I should be blending in over here, right? Oh, come on. You know what? We're fine. Come here. Let's fight. Whatever. I tried the stealth, I did the golden berry, and then I got the back hit with a gigaton ball, which is the best odds possible. It's not. Bulldoze? Wait, I forgot. You got good moves. Twice? Oh, dude, he just took out my entire Dialga. Yeah, you're gonna eat it, dude. Have a, uh, this is super effective flash cannon times two. Yeah, I think he could survive it. That's good. That's a very good amount of health. Take me out. I get a free switch in, potentially. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the way old Pokemon was, where you got free switches in. But this game is just like, nah, I think we're, I'm, I'm going to go first. Do you mind if I go first? There we go. False swipe. I need one more. I'll take a bulldoze. Why? Because I'm a poison type, huh? Okay, that's great. Okay. I... Don't have any good Pokemon in here outside of Palkia over here, and if I eat any ice moves, then we're done. And Banana got knocked out, so... And you just used Double Edge? No, man! I needed Banana. I would have put Banana in. Upset. 
<laughs> I'm very upset about that. Had, I, had coin not beaten me up and knocked out my banana. Wow. Okay, okay. Back to work. Back to work. Coin, man. That's not even a name. All right, all right. Well, you know what, Mammo Swine, we're gonna have to get again. Um, well, there's a, a Lopany. It's fine. We'll take a breather. We'll get Mammo Swine another time while we're here. We have some other business to tend to. Excuse me, Tialga. Move. <laughs> All right, here we go. Get ready to jump and fly. Here we go. This area is where we're gonna find our Gardevoir. And our Kirlia, hopefully. There's Ralts. Uh, I love Ralts. Ralts is really nice. But not the Pokemon I wanted. There is Gardevoir. It's an Alpha. It will be hard to catch. I just want to throw food right in front of you. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. This is a gigaton ball. Look at her prancing over there. Okay, now she put it. It's yellow. Oh, dude, that yellow and ch changed to orange. She took two bites. Yikes. Hey! Hey, I'm good with that. I'm really good with that. Okay, that's Gardevoir. Perfect! And there's no Kirlia in the area, unfortunately. I mean, I'll catch a Kirlia. It's not a problem. Oh, maybe there is one. Using Psychic on me. Where? Where? Who did that? You! You better run! You better- Oh, it's gonna flee. It's gonna flee. It's got its guard up. And it ran away. Boo! Okay, so I didn't realize that there was indeed a Kirlia over here, and that's unfortunate. So, it's okay. You know what? We'll get one. I know another spot where Kirlia can spawn, and uh, we're going to go straight over there. We're going to get ourselves a Gallade. There's potentially a Kirlia inside there. And while we're up over here on Snowpoint Temple, we should be able to go get uh, the... Um, what else is that? There's a Braviary. There is a Hisuian Braviary just flying around. So there's just tons of Pokemon in these areas. I love it. Oh, do, yeah, I don't think I have Basculin and Basculegion, right? Yeah, I need to go get those. They're kind of rare spawns in Cobalt Coastland, from what I remember. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that was good. See that Hisuian Braviary just flying right there? Yeah all the way up in the air. You can attempt to get that catch from here if you wanted to, but there's a better spot for it a little bit later. Okay. So now, we're just going to be walking all the way up to our favorite spot. Snowpoint Temple. I don't know why they don't allow ride Pokemon inside Snowpoint Temple. It's kind of weird. Like, my character doesn't isn't really good at running. Like, he can, he can run... You can sprint a little bit. He's actually really good at going upstairs, believe it or not. Look at that. Can you imagine if you personally, in real life, saw a little flight of stairs, and then you just, like, lunged at it, head first, into a forward roll, on the way up? <laughs> it's impossible. That would not ever happen. How is that possible? Is this the way? This is the way. All right, here we go. Okay. That's a Kirlia. You see it. I know you do. It's so good. I don't know what food you like, but I'm going to have you come on out this way. Come on out, my friend.
Yeah, back throw. And your dad didn't even do anything about it. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to get your dad, too. Oh, so close. He's like, yo, what just happened and where did my daughter go? Don't worry. You guys are going to be in a better life in the pastures uh, versus in this crazy little temple. Turn around. Okay. Okay, great. Cool. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, yo, Sonic. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Here we go, Gallade. Close combat. Ouch, that hurts. Can you take a spatial rend? You can. Wow. With a minus defense? Strong saw another close combat. He is going to destroy us, little did you know. Because he just destroyed Palkia in two hits. So there's that. Um, Dialga, I'm probably going to lose with one close combat. Throwing that out there. Full disclosure. I'm going to do a... Here's a flash cannon. I mean, I'm going to do an earth power. I got two moves. Oh, yes! Okay, so since it is my turn, I'm going to switch in um, Banana for free. And I hope I get a Hypnosis. Alright, get ready. Hypnosis. Put him to bed. Yes! Good job, Banana! He's prime for the taking right now. Psychic. Ouch. Banana's bulky. Banana can take it. Here we go. Ultra Ball. You love it. Perfect. You love it. You actually love it. Zerua can evolve now. Dude, we are, we are checking these off. This is so good. Ah, beautiful. Good job, Zerua. This, the best design out of all the Hisui. Absolutely the best design, hands down Zoroark. He's normal ghost type. Really, really awesome uh, typing in the game. Arguably the best. <laughs> okay. Cool. I just like threw that Pokeball right at her head. It's awesome. I didn't know Gallade had two daughters, but you know what? That's cool. They're all going to be together on a nice happy pasture. It's awesome. Catching Pokemon is not a bad thing. I mean, yeah, we're taking them from their natural habitat, but... I mean, a, a pasture crowded with 700 other Pokemon sounds pretty good to me. Alright, come on. Come on. I see the light. <laughs> okay. Here we are. So we're at the top of the temple. If you take a look, there is a flying Hisuian Braviary up here. So we do this right over this way. We're going to do some baseball practice. With some wing balls. Oh, hello. I didn't even aim, but sure. Cool. And just like that, we. That was great. All right. You guys ready? Number you've caught while they were in the air. This is awesome. Okay. Machamp is who we need now. I think Machamp is over Lake Acuity. Machamp is like over here somewhere. Yeah, this is where Machamp is. So let's go get Machamp. Yeah, look at us just flying around. That was so fun. We first shot. It was flying over right in front of us. We're like, okay, cool. Launch. Got ourselves a Hisuian Braviary. We don't even have to worry about evolving a Rufflet now. So that's so fun. Okay, here comes Machamp. Okay, hello, buddy. It's me. Yeah, you're strong. I get it. Yeah, you got four arms. Yeah, you got two arms coming out of your shoulders. Yeah, I get it. Come on. Okay. He's, he's getting a little close. 
I don't know what your favorite food is, but here. Perfect, right over him. Yes, Gigaton. Pick it up. Is he a fast eater? I don't know. I gotta go! Okay, good. <laughs> is he a fast eater? Run! Huh. Nope, he did not appreciate that. But I'm also at a point where a lot of my Pokemon are knocked out, so I don't necessarily have motivation to beat him up normally. So we'll try again with the berry. Oh, please don't look at me. Right in the shorts. Dude, what the heck? Come on, man. He's eating all my good berries. <sighs> He's eating all of them. They're not his favorite food. He does not appreciate them as much as other Pokemon do. But I'm taking him. I don't even care. That's great. Okay, uh, we got a lot of Pokemon here. We got a lot of Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to take a quick breather. Uh, let's go exchange our Pokemon, get our Pokemon all set and ready to go. Uh, there are certain Pokemon that we can evolve right off the bat right now. Uh, case in point being Haunter into Gengar. Uh, I want to see my Pokemon, so show me Gengar. Here we go. Here's Haunter. In exchange for Prinplup, um, we've got... Dun, 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 dun. I'm looking at other Pokemon here. I'm going to bring Giratina. And who's this? This is Sneasel and Palkia. Yeah, this is great. Okay, let's do it. I got a linking cable. Uh, so usually Haunter evolves... Don't I have a linking cable? Wait, I don't. What? I thought I did. Aw, oh, that's a bummer. Okay, well, I don't have a linking cable. Ooh. A boo hoo hoo. Well, typically with Haunter, you would trade him across games. Like, if you had your game, I would log in right now and trade him for one. But that appears to not be the case. That's unfortunate. Uh, where is Enamorous? Yeah, you're coming with me. Okay, so we've got a mission right now. And our mission is to get that Garchomp, so that's it. We got a lot of Pokemon. We did, we did. Yeah, my thing is that I don't want to grind out merit points. I don't want to do that. I want to. I don't want to go looking around for people's satchels. Like I think that's boring. It's just a waste of time. But I'm trying to do as many as I can without doing so. So linking cable. I mean, you could find them on the floor in space-time distortions, but honestly, you're probably gonna merit point them. You can even find a Gengar in a, a space-time distortion, so you won't have to worry about all of those. But anyway, let's make it daytime. Uh, there are two Pokemon that are still outstanding in this area. One of them is going to be Mamoswine. Uh, Mamoswine has access to Double Edge, and that's really, really killer. We don't like that at all. Even if I did bring in Banana, uh, the Drift Blim over there, I would dodge the Double Edge, but I would eat an Ice Attack, and the Ice Attack would potentially knock me out in one hit, like we've seen before. So I'm gonna go get that Mamoswine real quick. Likewise, if you have a if you got a if you caught a Piloswine, and you teach it uh, a ancient power, you can just honestly evolve it from there. And if it's a high level Piloswine, then you can just give it the ancient power move, evolve it, and you're done. But I like a challenge. You guys know me. I like catching these things outright. And this is another alpha that I can have fun with. So, anyway, speaking of challenge, watch this. Oh gosh. <laughs> Get this Bergmite out of here. Speaking of challenge, watch this. Clunk. Don't. Don't. You little guy. Don't come near me. Hi. Okay, you know what? No, 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 I'm not gonna fall for that. I'm not gonna fall for it. We're gonna turn around. He's gonna turn around any second now. 
No. <laughs> he just wants to be my friend. I get it. I get it. You're cool. Hi. Hello. You want to... I'm not here for you. At all. You're not worth an Ultra Ball. Sorry, guy. Okay, fine. Come here. Ultra Ball from behind. No berry. Really? Okay, fine. I'll play. Give me that free hit from behind. And that Bergmite better not be there in the battle. <laughs> what do you mean I caught him from behind and I still gotta do this? Uh, what level is he? 68? Can he eat a Hydro Pump? I'll give him a, a, a baby Hydro Pump. Just a little bit of water. That was good! Caught aware is too stunned to move. Alright. Now's your chance, Sneasel. Get him to 1 HP. We got this. And then we're gonna go rematch Garchomp. Wow, good move. Here goes Agile. Cool. Come on, man. Like, I don't like that at all, dude. He keeps on knocking himself out. He keeps on knocking himself out. Why does he do that? Avalanche slopes, man. I'm, I'm better off, since he's so annoying to catch, I'm legit better off just using a Pylos line. What level are you? Look at this big old pig. This pig will eat anything. I mean, he's he just wants to get caught right now. He's just showing me that rump roast right there. Cool. Thank you. I, I needed that. It was level 62. This is wonderful. Okay, you know what? I got him. <laughs> I, I absolutely got him. Uh, so let's go back to base. Uh, we're going to keep on the thought of Mamoswine, right? Remember I told you, if push comes to shove and you don't get a Mamoswine, then come on over and uh, I want to see my Pokemon. And we're going to do some uh, a little bit of work. We're going to do a little bit of work over here. Okay, Swine Up, evolve. Okay, so this was the Swine Up that was a permanent alpha Pokemon spawn on the map. That means that you can find the Swine Up every single time. You go back to Jubilife and all the way back here, you're all set. So now we got a pile of swine. You see his little beady eyes underneath there. All right, so now we got pile of swine. Uh, he actually has the Earth Power move, so he can just evolve right now. Anyway, or Ancient Power. Ancient Power is the move. All right there, done. Ancient Power, you're all set. Uh, so yeah, make sure that Ancient Power is in his move set, and then he's going to be ready to evolve. That's it. Done. It's a pretty unique method. It's kind of like Eevee and Sylveon, right? If there's a fairy type move in the move set, then there you have it. Okay, so I did like the challenge of catching Mamoswine. Don't need it. But we have an alpha one here that we evolved from scratch. So Mamoswine is done, right? That's great. So give me a Namorous and we got another shot at getting our Garchomp right now. All right, things are kind of slowing down as far as new Pokemon go. If you're curious about alpha Pokemon, oh, I got a tutorial for you guys. Uh, definitely take a look at the Tips and Tricks playlist. Uh, it shows the location of every single alpha and where they're at so you can farm them. But yeah, there is an alpha Lucario like right around this area that you can pretty much farm as much as you want in order to get like that shiny gold one. Wow, I think that's like one of my number one shinies to get in this game is an alpha Lucario shiny. But I'm gonna need that shiny charm before I even start thinking about that. There's a Gabite right over there too. Okay, here we go. We're back. A Garchomp story.
Okay, Garchomp. Okay, okay, okay. How how to do this? Um, I'm gonna try to find Garchomp's deck entry. See if I have any of his food. Garchomp, here we go. Give a goodbye. They like honey. They like wheat. They got they like beans. Honey, wheat, and beans. And I don't think I have in any of those. They don't like any of these berries. Yeah, that's kind of lame. Okay, so I do not have honey, wheat, or nor beans. But, you know what I do have? I got Ultra Balls to hit from behind. Good. You Please catch! Who is looking at me? Little baby! No time for you. <laughs> Don't have time for you. I gotta go get your, uh, your uncle over here. Goodbye. Okay, okay. Oh, here we go. Please, 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 please. Oh, oh, whoop, whoop. Oh, he's coming. He's upset. I can wing ball him. Legit, I can. Oh, come on. You did not see me. I'm out of here. I'm not here to get the Gabite either. Like, Gabite's kind of cool that it spawned right there. That's exciting. But, as you can see... Come on! Ah, uh, you make noise every time you do that. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, you make noise every time you, like, slide down that little spot over there. So maybe I'm not gonna slide down. But I'm just gonna crouch. So, foot rip. Come on. That's too far. It's too far for the wing ball to throw. Come on, stop walking. He's walk he's outpacing me right now. Come on, buddy, come on, buddy. <gasps> cool. I switched to Ultra Ball because I knew it'd be better capture rate. Come on. Dude, right? Right? Look at this guy. He's like, dude, I know you're there. There we go. Turn around a little bit. Just a little bit. Come on, Garchomp. Come on, Garchomp. <gasps> I know that attacking him in battle is probably my only bet right now. Because you got to be really lucky to get this dude. you to be really lucky to get him outside of battle. Even if you had grain, um, perfect. If you had grain, plump berries, or honey, I'm sure. Okay, that's fine. Duh! I hate that so much about this. Alright, here we go, let's fight! I'm not gonna be here all day. I'm gonna catch you in the old-fashioned way, then. Please don't outrage first turn, though. Okay, great! Wow. Okay, you know what? You fixate on using Outrage. I got someone that you cannot outra Outrage at all. And I don't know what you're going to do about it. I got Flying Turtle over here. Enjoy a Moon Blast. Uh, yeah, enjoy this, actually. Springtide Storm. Great. Cool. I think I'm going to settle right now. I think I'm going to settle for just evolving a Gabite. Because that thing is just annoying to catch. So if we can get this Gabite right here. Level 46? He's not leveled enough. Yeah, he's definitely not level 55. Okay, no worries. Uh, let's go back to camp, and I think I think we're gonna call it. I'll put him on my team. Um, but yeah, getting that Garchomp is just I got a crit, unfortunately. I'll try one more time. I'll try one more time in order to get him. But 
Possibly next time. Possibly next time. Alright, that was fun though. That was really fun to see all, that, see all those Pokemon. Um, but yeah, but that's going to be it. Let's take a look at our Pokedex right now. Uh, currently at 214 out of 242. So we've got some Pokemon to catch. I think uh, Garchomp is the only thing left in this area. I'm going to double check and we'll go from there. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. You guys are great. You guys are really awesome. Thank you. Who's all here? Who's all keeping track of these Pokemon, man? Ugh, that Kabite is just not... I think Garchomp evolves like 55 or something like that. And I don't want to level that thing up like 10 times or so. We can get him. I know I can get him. So, you know what? I've got a Vendetta against this guy. We're gonna, we're gonna go. I'm gonna walk out and walk in. Every time you walk out and walk in of a specific region... Uh, such as the Alabaster Icelands, so you go back to Jubilife, all the spawns reset. And that means that their shiny odds reset too. So the odds of us finding a shiny Garchomp, hmm, we might. We might be able to do that. But anyway, uh, good to see you guys. Here's an Ursa Ring. Don't need a, a weird green looking one. We're all set. Good to see you guys. What's up, Rihanna? What's up, Martin? How are you? Charmaine, good to see you too. Melissa, hey, what up? What is up? All right, I got a vendetta against this guy. We gotta get him. I'm gonna get him right now, Garchomp. <laughs> We're getting him. <laughs> Let's go over there first, man. Nah, man, we're not gonna do any cakes. I'm good, I'm good. We're going cakeless. Cakes could help with like dragon type Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready. All right, all right. Uh, Martin, you're good. Gonna catch these unknowns so you can shiny hunt. These unknown in the game, what does that mean? Unknown are like shiny locked. You can't get shiny unknown. That'd be interesting if you could though. Like a little purple unknown. I'm like genuine, genuinely curious why they shiny lock so many things, right? Why do they do that? All right, let me see if it's a shiny Lucario. It is not a shiny Lucario, so we're going to keep on flying. Man, can you imagine Alpha Shiny Lucario, dude? That is the dream team. Okay, here we are. Guess who's back? You want some of this? Come here. Attack him with an ice move. Defeated with an ice move is going to be the criteria. I don't have any ice moves here. Oh, congrats. Oh, do I? No, I don't think I have icy wind. Okay, dude. Cool. Let's go. Congratulations, little guy. Um, yeah, that's... Man. We gotta get this guy. I'm so ready for him. Alright, here we go. Let's hit it. Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah here with even more Pokemon Legends Arceus. We're at 214 caught out of 242. There's only a small handful left. We know where they're all at. We know what we need to do. Ba bum Welcome. So let's do this. Uh, here's Garchomp. I'm, I'm really wanting to get this Pokemon. Really, I do. I mean, I'm debating on going and buying some cakes and helping his uh, capture rate lower a little bit here. Or just kind of trying our luck, like we've been doing over this way. Trying our luck is going to be a little bit harder because it's just, it's not, luck is just not a thing right now. Not, at least not for us, so. That being said, come on, Enamorous, go. We'll whittle you down. As long as I don't get a crit on this hit, I'm good. Nice miss on the Giga Impact. That would have hurt a lot. I'm going to do a Moon Blast. It's super effective, same type attack bonus. And it does exactly like 45%. I'm just gonna do two of them. Two moon blasts. On an enamorous with Wow, I found the right Pokemon for this. Go ahead and knock me out. That's a light giga impact. Yeah, that hurt a lot. And here's another one. Dunk. He knows he can't use any ground type moves against me. Go banana! Please give me a free. Let me get a free hypnosis so we can win and be done with this guy. 
All right, all right, all right. I found the perfect Pokemon. I got two. Yes. And that's Enamorous straight out the box, too. So if you guys are also looking at catching this Pokemon, um, I didn't level up Enamorous, so as soon as you get Enamorous, use two moon, moon Blasts, and you're good. And that's it. That's called Vendetta. V for Vendetta. Yes! Alpagar Chomp. Dunzo. I'm so happy about that. And now we can leave. We can leave the area. So good. All right. Other Pokemon that I knew that we can uh, evolve right now are going to be um, are going to be Magmar into Magmar Magmortar, because I do have a Magmarizer, which is an evolution item that you can pretty much get in the um, Obsidian or what is that? The Time Space Distortions. Yeah, we're set. So let me go get Magmar. Magma. Magma. Do I have Magby? Oh, I don't think I have Magby. All right, get Enamorous out of here. I don't think we're leveling up anyone, but I'll go take my Magmarizer and we'll get it, see? And I have an Electorizer too. And I have an Electabuzz, so you know what? I think I'm gonna evolve both of them. There's no sense in me going over there and just catching. There's no sense in me going over there catching an Electivire when I know for a fact that I have the evolution item and we're golden, so. There we go, let's do it. Yeah, double Giga Impact was pretty intense. Uh, that He knew exactly what he was doing, but Giga Impact only has like five power points, so good luck. Anyway, so Magmarizer, an item that you can get from the little stall, the item shop over in Jubilife Village, uh, or you can find them in space-time distortions just laying around on the floor. So let's find Electabuzz. No, I have some here. Hey, three of them. Who's the lucky winner? Who's the lucky winner here? And this one. You've been chosen. Come on down. Okay, I do remember that there was... Oh, Basculin and Basculegion. So, if I make a trip all the way over to... Cobalt Coastlands, I can, I can potentially get some more Pokemon over there. So, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I think we're done with this area anyway. Here's hoping that we get another space-time distortion. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're good. We're good. I don't need this Pokemon on my team, so we're going to ditch it for now. Level 85 Garchomp is really cool to have. Uh, yeah, we don't need anyone else. Enamorous is fun to have on the team, too. I love Enamorous. Enamorous is typing. It's just so good. Level 85 Garchomp, man. Dang. Pelkia Sneasel, Electivire. Who kind of... Who joins on our team right now? We got a lot of Pokemon. Honestly, we don't need any of them. But I have to be better at finding um, storage space, you know? Anyway, here's a Garchomp. Okay, uh, let's get out of here. I think the ice area is pretty much done for now. We're good. We're golden. Don't have to do anything else. And we got a lot of money. That's really good. 92,000? This is just from doing these expeditions, right? We're making so much money. All right. Perfect. And we're almost done with the next rank. So let's go back to the village. We're going to go over to Cobalt Coastlands. I need the Basculin, Basculegion. I also need Empoleon. And, oh, there's a Munchlax outbreak. Wow. You know, I like Munchlax. And they're very rare. So I guess I'm going. I guess I'm going. Wow, I guess I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go there really quick, really quick, because Munchlax is just a Pokemon that's really annoying for me to catch. And if I want this Pokedex entry done done, I might as well go over there and get it, you know? And who knows, we might find a shiny, right? Uh, this one's just going to be a one and done. I'm not going to soft reset this in order to, like, chain it or anything like that. We're just going to go get all the Munchlax that we can. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet. And we're going to be good. Yeah, a Munchlax outbreak. He's rare. You know how long it took me to find that Pokemon. It's forever, man.
Okay, here we go. Munch likes outbreak. Hello, little ones. Who else wants some? Is that an alpha? Nope. Oh, punk. We got a runner. We got a runner. Oh, that one's gone. We got a runner, folks. <laughs> All but one. We good? This one's like, oh, what happened to all my friends? Don't worry about it, kid. Machop's like, did I just see what happened right over there? All right, cool. Great. <laughs> we got a runner. <laughs> so, oh, uh, yeah, we're all set, man. We got some back strikes. I just got 6,000 bucks for doing that, and we caught a lot of them, so that's perfect. So when it comes down to that Pokemon Pokedex entry, yeah, you better believe that we just finished that Pokedex entry for Munchlax. Okay, come on, come on. I'll go back to the village. That was so fun. Get ready. Bing, bing, bing. Okay, uh, wow, Sneasel. Actually, do they, do they drop items when you catch them? I have to. I have to. This is what I have to do. I need two Razor Claws. Do they drop items when you catch them? I don't know, to be honest. I thought it was when you battled them. I thought it was when you battled them, but... I don't know. Can't confirm or deny. But we'll do this. We'll do this. Yeah, these guys are pretty sensitive when it comes to that. You guys don't see me. That hurt, guy. Did you just freeze me? Okay, 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 okay. I quit, I quit, I quit, I yield, I yield! <laughs> Alright, keep an eye out if I if one of these guys drops a uh, razor fang on me. Or sorry, razor claw. Razor claw. I yield, I yield. <laughs> I need to craft. I need to craft more of these wing balls. This is like shooting fish in a barrel. Um, yeah, I need more. Seven more. That's great, thank you. There's no way he saw me from that far. Oh, 
Ouch, guy. I don't think any of these guys gave me a razor claw. Um, I'm gonna psychic hit. Oh my gosh, I just went to the water. <laughs> help, help, I'm gonna drown. I don't think, um... Look at these little guys. I need... Don't... Oh, that... Okay, here we go. Okay. Here they all come. What is going on? I got a singular razor claw, is that right? I need two of them, man. One's not good enough. And where do we find the regular Sneasel, too? The regular Sneasel form. Not good enough. I forgot that I needed these Razor Claws. I got a, a Grit Dust, Grit Gravel? No, not good enough. Oh, this! This, this is it. No? Dang it. Okay, okay. That's kind of unfortunate. I, I need more. Yeah, I got one Razor Claw. That's good. We actually needed that, but I do need two of them. Because I need a regular Weavile, too. And I need regular... Yeah, yeah, regular Sneasel. This is gonna be hard. Yeah, I've, I've seen regular Sneasel in Space-Time Distortion. I'm curious if he's out in the open, though. Okay, good job. And then I might get more um, Razor Fangs, because I I'm going to need two of them eventually, and I don't want to come out here um, searching for... Or I don't want to use Merit Points on Razor Fangs if I can avoid it. I thought Sneasel were all over here. This is not the case. There's got to be a better way of finding regular Sneasel outside of Time Distortion. That's the worst advice you can give, it, give anyone. It's like, oh yeah, I found him in Time Distortion. Yeah, great. That's so specific. I mean, you can't, <laughs> you can't like spawn a Time Distortion. So I got to try my best uh, to find one in the Overworld. Or, I mean, we got the Razor Fang. That's good. I might as well use it right now. Um... I think it has to be during the day or something like that. Let's go. Okay, I thought I was going to go to Cobalt, but <laughs> here we are. Finding ourselves right in this little area, so. <laughs> yeah, regular Sneasel's got to be floating around. I'll find him. Let's see, let me see. This, this, this. I was making notes before. <sighs> Regular Sneasel. Johto form, space-time distortions, and obsidian field lens. Yeah, that seems to be it. I don't want that to be a thing, but whatever. Here we go, Sneasel, finally evolving into our awkward long boy. There we go. Sneaseler. Very tall. Very tall. You look good, though. You look good. And now your uh, your summary... What's what's your attack stat? It's 258. That's really strong. So I guess I'm good with that. Cool. Um, so, like I said earlier, that outbreak was good because it allowed us to get a Razor Fang. And, or Razor Claw. Sorry, Razor Claw. Razor Fang is the uh, evolution item for Gliscor. Oh, 10 more points and we're golden. All right, let's get out of here. I'm going to go and we're going to go back to the village. Let's go to Cobalt. I need to go find a Basculin. We can go and evolve it with Basque into Basculegion. And then I need that Empoleon too. And I also need Magby and Ninetales. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Um, that being said, I'm kind of running low on Pokeballs. Let's go take a look right over here at the, the little crafting table. I got 100,000 bucks. So I might as well spend it on Pokeball materials. So, I love wing balls. I need like a hundred of these. 20,000. Boom. Done. 
Uh, I got 50 of these. Here's, uh, I'm gonna take 50. I just wanna have like a hundred of everything. 70, 7, 77. And then this, we're gonna do a hundred. Easy. That didn't even make a dent in my Pokeballs. That's great. Uh, Ultra Balls are doing really good. I have Wing Balls. I don't want to spend too much on Wing Balls. I'm going to do like maybe 20 of them. Maybe 10. I'll do 10 Wing Balls and uh, Gigatons. I still have a lot. Ultra Balls is really what I want. So let's do more. Okay. I think we're set. Let's go. Let's go over to Cobalt Coastlands and find ourselves Basculin, Basculegion, Nine Tails, Empoleon. I don't know who else. All right, let's go. Bum, bum. First things first, let's go get Ninetales because it's here and it's very easily um, transportable. Uh, I'm also hoping that we can get a Magby in the area. A little baby Magby would be very appreciated. There's no Magby spawn here. Just Graveler, uh, no Magby spawn. Wow, that's bad. Okay, so Magby is a rare spawn over here, but it's not that big of a deal. Honestly, it's not, because we can just, like, reset the game and get over here again. Anyway, this is Ninetales. Do I have it? I don't know. Hi. I don't know if I have Ninetales. I'm just gonna go over here and attempt to catch it, though. No, I have not caught a Ninetales. And he's not attacking me. It kind of wants to get caught. I'm gonna come really close to it. Or there we go, yeah, yeah. It just wanted to get caught. So that being said, I'm not gonna reset the area yet because Empoleon is right over here. So let's go try our luck with Empoleon. Maybe we might catch him with a stealth catch uh, or maybe not. And if we miss out on him, then I'm just gonna reset. We're gonna reset the spawns for Magby and just keep on going from there. Basculin, I know, is over here. He's very, very sensitive. And he tends to run away. I just need one of them. So if, and only if... There he is. You can see him there. Just chilling in the water. Two of them. Three of them. Octillery, come on, man. I'm not here for you. Um... Whoa, he's a hyper beam. Okay. Okay, so this is an entire Basculin family. Okay, this one's coming after me. That's fine. You know what? If you want to come after me, please. I I welcome you. An alpha? Oh, great. I'm not expecting an alpha. Icy wind, cool. An alpha Basculin is just like, yo, dude, you can't come over here. You are not welcome. Here's a hypnosis. Enjoy. And a big crunch. Done. Uh, okay, that's cool. Uh, Banana, you did great. Good work. Uh, Sneasler can come into here and start doing some work. I can do a Drain Punch, which might KO. Or we just proceed to False Swipe. That's a three hit. Double Edge? No! This thing knows Double Edge. Oh gosh, help me. Well, if you know Double Edge, then all I have to do is just absorb the Double Edge damage, and... Oh, I've got Giratina on the team. Hold on, hold on. Or we just catch it. It's as easy as that. Great! <laughs> awesome. Alright, Yahoo! Go Dialga! Alright, so we got ourselves a Basculin. Uh, let's evolve it into Basculegion in a little bit after we get this uh, Empoleon right over here. Over an Isle Spy Shore. Okay, big guy. There's grass behind him, which is the more strategic approach. So let me get dropped off right over here. Okay, okay, okay. Just fall. Take the damage. It's fine. 
This game's weird, man. You press plus, and then it's like it works sometimes. Press plus again, doesn't work the other times. All right, here we go, here we go. That's a free wing ball. One does not simply try. I got four raspberries. Or we get the Empoleon just like that, baby. I'm in. See you later. Goodbye. Great. Perfect. Let's go back. It's good. It's really good, man. I love that. Yo, one free wing ball? Don't even talk to me. If all alphas were that easy to catch, man. To some good luck. All right, so speaking of alpha, we don't need this Garchomp on the team. Uh, Banana needs a little bit of recovery. This is great. Uh, we could find Vulpix over here too. Vulpix and Magby are going to be the rare spawns that we might not be able to get, uh, but that's okay. Here's Basculin. The evolve method for Basculin is going to be a little bit unique in the fact that Basculin needs a specific amount of like recoil damage. Uh, with ra yeah, Wave Crash, that's the move. Wave Crash, okay, anyway. I'm gonna beat up some cats. <laughs> All right, let's do a little bit of Wave Crash. Ooh, big fish. So yeah, we gotta get 300 damage and recoil. So any Pokemon nearby that you want to beat up, you can absolutely do so. Um, I would highly suggest like just knocking out any any Pokemon like this right here. Starly, good luck. Not with Giratina, that's lame. I'm sorry. Starly ran away. Yeah, I would absolutely run away too if I saw that thing. I would be like, no thanks. Absolutely not. Uh, Drapion and these little Scorpion guys? Sure, let's fight. I could do a wave crash on him. Easy. Who else? You. Volpix. Ooh, so strong. That's cool that we actually got an alpha version of this Pokemon. Two of them? Alright, we'll do it. We'll do it. Just gotta keep on getting all this uh, recoil damage. Skaroopy, Skaroopy! He's like, this fish is like bent. Like his neck is down. What is that? a lot of damage and recoil I'm gonna faint too okay good job you did great okay here we go yeah that's so funny using barb barrage a million times yeah that's just what you got to do all right, uh, Basculin still needs a little bit more, so let's head on over. I don't need to beat up any more of these cats. I think they've taken enough of a beating, and I love these cats. So we're going to go beat up some s these little scorpion guys instead. I wish I found a red one. That would be so good. Wave crash. We ready yet? Nope. Basculin is still not ready. Maybe these guys don't have a lot of HP whenever I do this move, but it's alright. Not yet. I need to... Wow. This is gonna be a lot, actually, now that I'm thinking about this. Here's a Geodude that cracked out. Hello! Wave crash. Easy damage. Bird? Two birds? Oh, this is not good. I mean, I don't know if rain boost works in this game with the weather, but hey, as long as that happens, I'm great. Starabia doesn't have a lot of HP. 
roosting for no reason at full HP? Cool, like, I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay, goodbye, Staravia. We're gonna move on. Basculin is not even there yet. Okay. That's fine. He's almost got three of his entire life bars knocked out, so carry on. Alright, we do have to go see if we can find a Magby near the area. So Magby is going to be our next target once we're done with all of these guys here. No, not the bear. Alright, continue. Look at you. You got a lot of HP. Come on over. You know, probably attacking a Chansey would be the best, because Chansey has so much HP. i probably have to beat up one Blissey, and then I'd get like 300 recoil damage. Basculin, man. What do I have space in my satchel for? Honey? Okay, who cares? Get ready. Good recoil, good recoil. Not yet. I'm almost there. This is a grind. This is a grind and a half right now. Okay, keep going. Carry on. Now. There we go. Perfect. Come on out, my friend. Calling Basculin. Yes. And this Basculin is an alpha, so he's already gigantic. Now we have an alpha Basculegion. Which is so good. Rawr. Look at how nasty that ugly looking thing looks. Ugh. Weird. Okay. So we can throw him out just to see how big he is. Right? Why aren't you coming out? Oh, because there's a Pokemon watching? Alright, you're shy. He's a little camera shy. We will not deal with him. But I will go check over here to see if we have a Vulpix that spawned. Vulpix is right over here. I don't believe we do. Oh, man. No Vulpix and no Magby. So, these are the next two Pokemon that we need to get. That is a Hisui and Growlithe. Now, Big Boy? Hold on, hold on. I'm going to go get the Big Boy really quick. These guys are cute. They like me. That one doesn't, though. I just want this one. Don't touch me. You didn't see me. You didn't see me. I gotta get this alpha. I'm sorry. I have to. It's my destiny right now. Stop it! You rude dude. Okay. Look at this little... This is a big boy. Imagine if I can get the Alpha uh, Hisui and Arcanine. That was, that was a back throw with an Ultra. Not bad. This little boy... Thank you. Okay, okay. <laughs> this little guy is just being a, a little annoying, isn't he? Alright, no worries, no worries. Uh, there is a Pokemon over here. The, the Pokemon that I need in this area are honestly Vulpix Magby. So that's exactly what we're going to try to get a little bit later. So let's do that. Let's go back to camp. We're going to regroup. We're going to turn into the professor. And then you guys can see exactly what kind of progress we got. We're like over 200 on this Pokedex here. I'm so happy. So anyway, turning in five Pokemon. I got a new alpha, a little um, big Growlithe. It's so cool. Too bad I wasn't a shiny, but that's all right. It's 11,000 bucks. Helps me pay for even more Pokeballs. And, uh, yeah, we got some new... Ooh, yeah, so now we can get to that level 8 in our Pokedex. So that's awesome. All right, we'll go mess around with Captain uh, Silene in a little bit. But really excited. We get some new Pokeballs and stuff. All right, you know what? Let's go to Silene. We'll just do it since we're here. 
we're going to get the best wing ball. Are you guys ready for a best wing ball? This is the last. This is the last Pokeball that you can unlock in the game. Simply by just playing through and doing all this. All right, Silene. Eight star. After a while, right? Honestly, you can get eight star so like early on in the game if you just spend the time filling out the Pokedex. Jet balls. There we go. There we go. Jet balls. I love it. And I can craft full restores too. The best healing item outside of a max revive. Okay, well, uh, on the next one, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, go find Magby, Vulpix. Uh, our Pokedex is looking really good. 222. There's only like 20 Pokemon left. So Vulpix right over here. Basculin, and Basket Legion we got. Uh, Finian I'm going to go grab. Or Luminian. Uh, Magby. That's exactly who we need there. And honestly, it's just a bunch of other little ones that we got to go get. So I'm super excited for it. Thanks for watching. All right. Let's get the eight badges, right? That's what I was saying, right? You get badges in this game. Oh, man. How how have you guys all been? How have you guys all been? Have you been enjoying this? Are you playing along with? Are you catching Pokemon right alongside me? Talk to me. Mm-hmm. Do the Jet Balls have rocket packs on them, says Gracie? Uh, no, they don't. That would be really fun, but... No, they just, they're the exact same thing as a feather ball, but better capture it. Okay, so time to take some notes while you guys are all here. Good to see you again. Yoshia, what's up? Okay, um, let's go. Let's go. Let's take a look at who we need from the top. From the top, um, I need Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil is going to be, um, you can go get him from Professor Laventon's office, which is awesome. Uh, Space Time Distortion in Crimson Mirelands. I mean, we can have a potential at getting that in Crimson Mirelands. We'll save him for the very last. If we have to go to the Professor and get him, we can do that. Other than that, we got to go get Leafeon. We got to go get Leafeon in, in the overworld, was that Obsidian? Who else do we need? Just kind of looking over here. Our Pokedex is pretty stacked. Petalil needs a... Petal needs what? Petal? Lil? Sunstone. Oof. Yeah, I don't have... A, I don't think I have a Sunstone floating around. Yeah, that's going to be needing a Sunstone. Ursa Luna, getting that item is going to... I don't know if there's a specific spot for it. But uh, if you guys have any tips on where to find that specific item for him, uh, let me know. So let's see. Uh, Sun, Stone, Ursa, Luna. Ursa, Luna. Good, good, good. Uh, here we go. Gengar. I'm going to need that linking cable, man. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to uh, pay out for it. 142 is unknown. Uh, what else? Yo, Kai Redbud, welcome. Thanks so much for hanging out. Vulpix? Magby. Luminian. Yeah, I need Luminian. Uh, and then I think we're good. Uh, I need a Leaf Stone. Miss Magius? Who's 199 and 200? I don't know who 199 is. Let me see. I can find out really quick. Uh, looking at my notes. Oh, it's Cleffa. Yeah, I do know Cleffa. All right. I need Cleffa. Okay, Cleffa, Clefable, Clefairy. That's easy. I need this, like, um, this Sneasel. I need this other Sneasel. But is that going to only be in space, time distortions, and obsidian? Wow, and if I'm in Obsidian, who do I need? The Leafeon. Leafeon in Obsidian. So we just gotta hang out until that space-time distortion happens, and then I gotta go catch that, um, that Weavile. And then I think we're done. Yeah, yeah, and then I think we're- that's really it. That's not a lot of Pokemon, guys. That's not a lot. We can get them all. Unknown is gonna be, um, until the very end, but all these other little ones we can knock out. 
Cleffa's gonna be fine. Honestly, it's just spawning them and respawning them, so not a big deal. Alright, Hunter into Gengar. Yeah, that's gonna be really tough. Oh man, Ursa Luna. Ursa Ring. Pete Block. I'm sure you can find it in Crimson Mirelands, just looking around with that thing. <laughs> um, I remember digging one up. And then you can also, yeah, you can absolutely uh, go through and find the peat block in one of the quests. I'm sure of it, but I'm not out here doing any requests in this game. So, yeah, we're going without doing requests. I love it. Nine of these. What do I have? I need iron chunks and apricorn. So let's go buy some. So now we have the best wing balls in the game. So there's really no point in using anything else. So let's just buy a hundred of these. Do, 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 do. 100 for 20,000. I'm gonna also buy 25 of these. Apricorn, I'm probably gonna do like 200 just because I seem to be using them a lot. And let me buy a hundred of these. Love that. So good. All right, wing balls, 50 of them. Done, man. That's so good. Let me, let me empty out my pockets and then we are gonna go. We're gonna go get these Pokemon. Alright, alright. Here we go. Uh, what do I have? I don't have any items that evolve those Pokemon, unfortunately. Yep. We had bad luck in space-time distortions. Oh, I got four nuggets. Cool, I could sell those for some money. But at this point, I don't feel I need money. These berries are taking up space. Okay, orange berries, gold berries. Uh, yeah, I mean, with Pokemon, I think I'm good. I think I'm, like, all set. We're ready to go. All right, Ipom Drifloon. You could get a golden Drifloon right over here if you wanted to. So let's just make a plan to do this. We're going to go back to C Cobalt Coastlands. We're going to go get Vulpix Magby. Luminian. Vulpix Mag Magby Luminian. And then we can go over to Coordinate Highlands and do the rest. So anyway, you guys are uh, excited for this? Let's go. Let's continue. Oh, this game is so good. All right, let's hit it. Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdali here with even more Pokemon Legends Arceus. Today is all about filling out even more of our Pokedex. Uh, I'm over here in Cobalt Coastlands, and we are going to be looking for Magby and Vulpix. You can see over here we have 222 Pokemon caught. We need 242, so we're almost there. Um, as you can see, this area is where we're going to spawn the Magby if they show up. You can see that there's three spots over here. There's one spot over here that it can potentially spawn. It can also spawn over there, but it appears that it has not spawned, so that's okay. Not a big deal. We can just continue to look for it. Um, that being said, if we head on over right over this way and we climb up towards the cliff, we'll then be able to find every single one of the uh, Vulpix spawns, which I'm really hoping that we can do so. But the sun is kind of going right down down right now, and I don't know if it's just exclusive to sunny weather. But anyway, let's find out what we can see. Okay, I remember seeing Vulpix right around here, so I'm going to dive down a little bit, and then we're going to coast. We're just going to be coasting, keeping our eyes peeled for any kind of Vulpix. Nope. We got Beautifly. That's one. There you go. There we go. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted. Wing Ball? Wing Ball. Is a Wing Ball the thing? Hold on. Hold on. Didn't I just craft a new Pokeball? Are they called Wing Balls? I used to call them Wing Balls all the time. Didn't I craft 50 of them? Where did I, oh, did I put them in the... Mm, I probably put them in my satchel. Because it was something new and I didn't recognize it. That's fine. You know what? Whatever. Hi. Boom. Okay. I can breathe now. Cool. Vulpix done. Great. Uh, so let's go back to the beach since we caught ourselves a Vulpix. That is the, uh, what we needed. Yeah. So here's my 59. Give me those. <laughs> what are you doing? See, like, since it's such a new item, I didn't have it favorited. Oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Favorite. 
almost discarded them. No way. All right, this is great. I need to go. We got ourselves the Vulpix, which is perfect. And now our Pokedex is coming through. Things are looking great. Things are looking amazing. Thanks for hanging out. Yay. All right, we're going to go back to the village. This is the way that you're going to spawn this Magby. And I wish there was an outbreak for Magby, but I can't. I can't make that happen. But Luminion is easy. We can go do that. Drift Blim. Oh, there's Munchlax again. I can go catch some more of them. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't know, man. Here we go. Magby, cross your fingers. Let's do some flame emotes for Magby. Magby, little baby. Where are you? Where are you? Nope, you're Magmar. Nope. 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 And nope. Cool. It's <sighs> unfortunate. Alright, but it's not a wasted it's not a wasted trip because we're gonna go get that Luminian. Luminian is just chilling right over here in the water. There. Cool. Please? May I? Perfect. <laughs> it's great. That's <laughs> so just the Pokemon I needed. Luminian. Great. All right, cross them off the list. Cross them off. Uh, Vulpix is done. We need Magby. We also need... There's there's still a little bit left, and I cannot wait to get them. The only Pokemon that are kind of a bummer are the Pokemon that need the Evolution Stones. There's no easy way of getting them other than waiting for time space, space-time distortions and grinding merit points. And I know I'm going to have to grind merit points for some of them. I was honestly just hoping that we, would, we wouldn't have to do that. So, anyway. Here we go. Yeah, Luminian's good. Alright, let's go until morning. Bing. Okay, cool. Alright, Magby. Magby, I need this, this little guy. This little guy. There he is. We got him. We got him. He's a little child. You see him right there. Yes. Okay. Now we have to be very tactical about this. I must catch this little guy. He needs to turn around. I will be patient. Good. Just like that. Dunk. I'm going to catch his dad. Perfect. I love that. All right. Cobalt Coastlands uh, is done. This is done. Luminian, Miss Magius, Cleffa. Um, I don't need to hang out in Cobalt. I, If anything, I gotta go to Crimson. So this is perfect. Bing! Get ready! That's a little Magby there. Yes! Ah, good. Cross him off the list. Let's continue on. All right, where are we going to go? I am gonna go over to, dun 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 dun. Let's go over to Cornet Highlands. In Cornet Highlands, I can find a Miss Magius, Cleffa, Clefable, and Clefairy, which is great. That's a lot of Pokemon just in there. So, and there's a, I can go get a Graveler too if I wanted. I mean, Graveler Outbreak, good job. If there's a Graveler Outbreak, then you can get a lot of black augurite just by beating them up, which is really fun. But anyway, Miss Magius is where we're going. Let's go over to Nightfall at the summit camp over here, and we're going to go over to the graveyard. The graveyard's where we're going to find this ghost Pokemon. How spooky. Okay. All right, you ready? You ready? Show me this ghost Pokemon. There it is. Jet balls. 
Don't look, don't look. Turn around, turn around. Jet ball to the back. Done, Miss Magius. Excellent. Love that so much. Miss Magius. I mean, there's a there's an outbreak for these Graveler over here. I'm kind of there. Let's go say hi. Here they all are. Okay, uh, who else is here? There's a Haunter. There's a gra there's a Graveler. I mean, they're kind of on an angle. And there's like the Golem over here. I'm good. You know, I, I'm I'm good. I, I don't need anything from them. So let's go get Clefairy, Clefable, Cleffa. All three of these little babies, these little fairies. I hope that's Cleffa right there. That's a Clefairy. Okay, cool. Hi. You're not who I want, but welcome. There's Clefairy. Um, I got my... Oh, is that a Cleffa? No, just two Clefairy. That's fine. Whatever. Oh, that did not hit the tree, just for the record. Let the record show that that did not hit a tree at all. Okay, so there's Clefable, which is cool. Clefairy are over here in the Fabled Spring. That Clefairy is sleeping. Oh, I love that. You can see it just sitting right there. Holy moly, that's a big Clefable. Okay, hi, little guy. Can you not? Have a spoiled apricorn. Oh, okay, maybe I should not have. But, hey, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. I kind of rushed it. There's a Boodoo. Kind of rush that. Uh, so Cleffa would spawn along all of these things over here. So they would... Uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna have to soft reset. You wanna see something epic? Watch. Turn around. We're gonna do something so epic. Once it turns around, we're gonna launch ourselves right in mid-air. Okay, whoa. That was terrible, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was terrible. Hold on, hold on, turn around, turn around, turn around. I thought I did my double jump. Come on, let's do something cool. Like a cool dude. Turn around. I was ready for that, I just didn't do the double jump. There we go. Great. Here you go. Hey, hey. Okay, that's great. Cool. Whatever. We got the Clefairy. We got the uh, Clefable, but no Cleffa spawned over there. So we're just gonna have to keep on respawning the area in order to get it. So. Okay, let's go, let's go. Ms. Magius, good work, good work. We're going to actually get out of here. Yeah, let's leave. Let's go back to the village. This is the best way of resetting all the spawns. Remember, Cleffa is the rare spawn in that little fabled spring. So we're gonna have to go to Jubilife and then come right back and just make sure that it's nighttime because you won't be able to catch them if it's not nighttime over there. Yeah, Clefable is super, super good. Um, oh, you better believe I'm going to go for the perfect Pokedex in the game. Like, it's going to be so fun. That's the end goal of Pokemon anyway, right? The end goal of this game over here is going to be exactly that. It's going to be, hey, what can you do after you're done with beating the main story, right? And collecting all the Pokemon and getting Arceus. Like, what do you do, right? You're going to do the perfect Pokedex. You're going to try to get the Shiny Charm. There's so much to do. This post game is huge, right? Usually in the other Pokemon games, you catch them all once and then you're done, right? But no, this game is just expanding upon that, and I love it. It's a long way to Fabled Spring, my gosh. And that's not even... Yeah, you cannot go farther over there.
Yeah, we haven't even seen another shiny Pokemon, too. Like, our luck has been really only used with catching everyone, not really getting the, the rare shiny Pokemon spawns. Okay, I think there's a Cleffa there. No, it's a Clefairy. Clefairy, Clefairy. Clefairy, Clefable. Clefairy, Clefairy. Really? I'll take one more spin through here. If uh, if not, then we're going to have to soft reset again. Yeah, all I see is just Clefairy. Okay, not a big deal. Cool, whatever. Let's go back to camp. Let's go back to Jubilife and keep on going. This is what we signed up for. He's a rare spawn. I remember I spent way longer trying to get Munchlax. Oof. Yeah, I wonder if there is an alpha dex, right, in the game. Wouldn't that be really crazy? If it was like, all right, did you catch an alpha of this one? If you could just, like, make a tab of all the different alpha Pokemon that you caught, that would be cool. I don't actually know if that's a thing, because you have the unknown dex. I mean, you could technically see all your shinies in there, but an alpha dex, though? Man. I don't know. Honestly, I think um, starting from the very top of that one camp is going to be a lot easier and faster. We gotta get the Cleffa. Cleffa. Okay, Clefairy, Clefable, uh, no spawn there, huh, okay, Clefairy, Clefairy, that one's sleeping as usual, there's the Clefairy, oh, there's Cleffa, got him, yes, okay, we're good, we are good. Got them. I gotta be very sneaky. Clappa! Yay! Okay. Oh, that's a big voodoo right there. You big voodoo! I mean, one doesn't simply uh, walk away from a big voodoo. Of course I do. All right, Cleffa's done. Uh, what else do I need in this area? Really nothing. I got Miss Magius, Cleffa, Clefairy, um, Vulpix. I got Magby, Luminian. I need a Leaf Stone. I need Ursa Luna, Sunstone. Wow, there's there's still a lot more. There's still a lot more, but our Pokedex is looking great right now. Okay, here we go. Bing, bing, bing. I did catch the Boodoo. Budu. Budu. I like calling him Boodoo. <laughs> Budu. Alright, let's take a look. Um, we have a couple Pokemon that we can go get. Um, Space Time Distortions is really what we're going to be focusing on. Is that. Yeah, Space Time Distortions in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Hopefully. Hopefully. What is this? Is this a sunstone? Which one is this? Dawnstone? No way, man. I don't have a dawnstone, waterstone, thunderstone, shiny stone, duskstone. No, I don't have the evolution stones. I need a leafstone, stun, sunstone. Leafstone, sunstone, and I need a linking cable. Mm, that's going to be pretty frustrating, but no worries. Uh, let's go back to Obsidian. Oh my gosh. Let's go back to Obsidian and see what's up. Uh, we are at 229 right now uh, out of 242. So we're, we're very close. We are 100% very close. Um, what we're going to do right now is I'm going to go take an Eevee. 
Let's go take an Eevee all the way over to the specific Moss Rock and evolve it into Leafeon, which is going to be pretty easy to do. I got some Eevee floating around still. Yeah, whenever you see an Eevee outbreak, like, you gotta stop what you're doing and get that. All right, here we go. We're gonna go to Grand Tree Arena, and then we're gonna evolve. Yeah, not too many Pokemon left, guys. This is good. We're gonna be able to get Arceus very soon, if not today. I mean, grinding merit points for three Pokemon is kind of par for the course, if you think about it. Sometimes you'll get lucky with uh, space-time distortions. Sometimes you will. All right, so right here, this way, is the Evolution Rock for Eevee, where you can get yourself a Leafeon for free. Super simple. Leafeon for free. Don't you dare waste the Leaf Stone on Eevee, please. You need that Leaf Stone for, uh, for Electrode. Wow. Okay, beautiful. Uh, good job. Good job. Now what? Number you've caught. Dang. So now we're kind of just waiting on a space-time distortion. Yeah, we're legit waiting on a space-time distortion, and I'll try to fill up some Pokedex entries of some Pokemon if I don't have them. But yeah, I mean, it's just it's just chilling right now. Just chilling. So let's go see right over here. There's low punny. Let me see what I need for this Pokemon. I don't have it maxed out. Uh, alpha specimens. Uh, seen it use close combat. Seen it use draining kiss. Number defeated. I could defeat it. Like, that's not the problem. Yeah, might as well. Here we go. Honestly, this is the only way that I know of in order to get... Ow, man. That hurt. In order to get the um, space-time distortions to come up, is just doing research. Wow, that thing just knocked out Giratina. Almost. Boom. Please knock him out. Good, 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 good. Okay, perfect. So, I mean, we got a little something for that. Let's see Baneri really quick. Do I have a Pokedex entry for Baneri? Hello, little bunny. I don't. Uh, number caught, number defeated, baby doll eyes. Time you've given it food. Oh, I got plenty of food. Let's feed these guys. There you go. Want a berry? Good job. Enjoy. Don't look. Don't look at me. Go eat the berry. Okay. Um, okay, times you've given it food is really fun. This one's just chilling in the grass. Um, what other food do I got? Here we go. You guys like this food? I don't know, but enjoy. Times you've given it food. Oh, those are both going after the same bit of food. Did that bear? Did that berry just despawn in front of you, you little bu buddy? Oh gosh! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's so funny. Just knock it on the head with a piece of food. Okay, and it's gone. All right, well, I'm going to continue moving on with that Pokemon. That's just what you do right now. That's what we got to do. We got to find any Pokemon and fill them up to 10. So this is going to be what I'm planning on doing in post-game. Once we're done getting Arceus, we're 100% going to get all the Pokemon to research level 10. Right? It's just going to be so good to do that. And once we get them to research level 10, then we're golden. We really have to just continue grinding. Are we going to get the perfect Pokedex? I'd like to. I think that'd be so much fun. Alright, here we go. Combi. Okay, that was a back toss. Let me see what I got to do with these guys. I caught a lot of them, but I didn't really do much with them. Um, it says, times you've seen it, you use Gust, the number of different forms you've obtained, maybe two of them, number you've evolved, defeated with rock-type moves. Okay, I got some rock-type moves that I can defeat them with, so let's go. Let's 
That's it, man. It's just, now it's a slow grind until we get these uh, space-time distortions. Oh, I don't have that rock move. Hold on, here we go. Space-time. The perfect Pokedex will take a long time to get because, like, you gotta think about all the Pokemon that you have to catch, right? Think about the starters, for example. There's, like, catch six of them. You have to go into six separate space-time distortions in order to make that happen? Like, really? Wrong Pokemon again. Great. Oh, good. That one just flew away. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, it's it's just insane. So, yeah, I really have to get the normal Sneasel right now. And if I get the normal Sneasel from the space-time distortion in this area, then I'm good. I'm really good. Okay, number you defeated with rock-type moves. That was good. Okay, this B... Um, yeah, so we have a lot, right? This is good. Two, four, six. We're set. Yeah, so B's done. Let's continue on. And that's exactly what you're going to be doing in, in Crimson Fieldlands, is moving over and seeing what there is. Number caught, um, light specimens, how many defeated, caught without being spotted. I mean, that's fine. Here. Whatever, I can afford that. Who's coming out of this tree? No, I'm fully aware that you can get those starters from the professor. Like, I'm fully aware of that. I just don't want to, I don't want to do that right now. Thanks for paying attention, we're good. Yeah, I don't want to get them there because we are gonna to have to catch a lot more of them. And if you're out here trying to get this perfect Pokedex, you gotta grind it. Who's that, Combi out of a tree? Alpha Combi? I mean, I guess that's cool, but whatever. What are the odds of finding an Alpha in a tree? Yeah, that's great. Okay, do I have Beautifly? Yeah, I've got that to level 10 right now, so we're set. Let's go find uh, Psyduck. I think I did get Wurmple to uh, the level that I wanted. Psyduck should be over here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. That's who we're kind of looking for. I don't think I have Psyduck maxed, uh, maxed out. I do have Psyduck maxed out. Okay, so he's set. Uh, Scyther I don't have maxed out, I don't believe. So let's go catch some Scyther. Should be all set with that. Yeah, Cherim is really, really hard. Luxio, I think I have. Yeah, just, I just threw some mud in its face. <laughs> I'm out of here! Uh, Combi, I finished up. Uh, let's do this. Who's in here? Who's in here? Combis? All right. Combi, out of the way. There's an Alpha Scyther over there too. Great, that was, a, that was actually really good. Yeah, so this area, I mean, there's a lot of good Pokemon, but you really have to know where they all spawn and where you're at on level 10 for them. So I know that there's an Alpha Scyther here. And this is him. I'll see if I can get close enough to catch him. Um, if not, ooh, look at that. Perfect. Caught the alpha just like that. Wow. Wing balls, man. Or sorry, jet balls. Jet balls are the way, man. Yeah, you could leave, you could absolutely leave the Pokemon with the professor, right? You absolutely do not need to go um, get them. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to leave them. Unless I'm, like, completely stumped. Oh, this one's sleeping? Oh, this one's sleeping. Cool. Let's look at Scyther. 
Uh, caught 10, Air Slash, defeated with rock type moves. I'm just gonna catch this one because he's so he's so beautiful. Look at him. He's just sleeping in midair. Wow. Defeated with rock type moves, huh, Scyther? I think I'm good. Okay, so I caught a bunch of them. Honestly, I, I don't think I'm done with the entry, like, at all. Anyway, let's do some more work. We got some more Pokedex work to do in Obsidian Fieldlands to get this time-space distortion going, right? Nature's Pantry. This is where I can find Pikachu. Cricketune? Oh, Pikachu! Yes! Oh, I love that. It's great, man. I was looking for Pikachu. I think I'm good. I don't have Cricketune done? Oh my gosh, I'm looking at this. Uh, Cricketune, times you've given it food, defeated, and caught. If I catch one more Cricketune, I'm golden. So let's just do a leaden ball or whatever. You're gonna... Oof! Double oof. This guy is up. Mm. Don't even. Yo, he just... Whoa, that's a big Starly! Yo, welcome! Thank you! Let's go! That was awesome. Thank you for doing that. Ba bum Okay, so we said uh, we got ourselves a Pikachu in Nature's Pantry. Honestly, there's not too much left. Time's defeated. Time number caught. Wow, you wasted an Ultra Ball, you little guy. Paris? I don't have Paris at level 10. Uh, defeated with fire type moves. Yeah, I can go beat up a whole bunch of these with Balloon. Yeah, come on. Let's go, Paris. Paris is pretty intense. I love Paris. Paris has Spore and Fall Swipe. Too good. Let's go. Let's go. Paris with fire moves. You're done, kid. Oh, there's another one. Great. I love it. Let's defeat them all. And then this will get us to level 10 on Paris. Like, honestly, that's that's what we're going to do. It's like, get everything to level 10. And while we're getting things to level 10, we're waiting for the space-time distortions. Because we really only need a couple things. And they're just grinding at this point. It's just literally grinding. How many have defeated? Um, one, two. Mm, seen to use Stun Spore, number caught. I can defeat two more. I can catch one more. I mean, yeah. Let's go defeat two more. And then we're golden, man. We are golden. But it's just, like, right now, we're at the point where we have as many Pokemon as we can physically get. Unless we're out here grinding merit points and space-time distortions, we're not going to get everything. And then, remember, we got to get the unknown decks. Uh, the unknown decks is going to be an entire thing in with itself, and we're going to go get all the Spiritomb Wisps. Which is going to be very hard to do. Um, I still remember uh, doing the recording where I made the video and trying to find them all myself. Just overall really hard, so, um, yeah. Let me get this little cricket tune and call it. Okay, perfect. Jet balls. It's just the cost of the game now. All right, here we go. So there's another Pokemon that spotted me. As soon as we're in the clear, as soon as we're in the clear, let's go. Hide water. All right, I'm so good. Here we go. All right, all right. Perfect. 6,000 bucks. I need some more of those wing balls, man. Okay, so look at how much Pokedex data we've done today. 930 points worth. So good. All right. Well, that is it. Let's take a look at our uh, Pokedex right now. Really, only 14. 14 left. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. 14? No, no, no. Uh, 11. I'm sorry, I thought 14. No, 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 we got 11 left. There's not a lot. I gotta get these three, which are the starters that are gonna be happening over here. I can do Duwat, because I have an Oshawott. Yeah, I can evolve Duwat. I can put that on my team right now, and then just hold on to it for a little bit. Let me see. I think I have that. Remember, we caught a Duwat in the space-time distortion. 
do what do what do what do what do what I thought it was over here. Yeah, here we are. Level 60? Yeah, you're just gonna evolve right now. You're done. And I've got an extra Oshawott, so that doesn't matter. Because if I do all of Oshawott's uh, Pokedex entries, have it done 100% sparkling, then that means that I can evolve him into Duwat and then do the exact same thing. So evolving him right over here is not that big of a deal. No, it's not bad at all. All right, so we got ourselves a Samurott. We're looking good over there. Just kind of looking through our Pokedex right now. Um, Samurott, just going to turn it in. Um, everyone else is pretty much done over here. All the evolutions are good. All these other Pokemon are good. The only thing, there's a there's like, I think, 10 Pokemon left. Petalil, I need a Sunstone for. Yeah. Ursaluna, I need his evolution item for. That we're just going to go sniffing around in the... <laughs> Gengar, I need a linking cable. Spiritomb is its own thing. 142 is unknown. Yeah, that's it. That's it. We're kind of at a, a standstill right now. Electrode is one of them too. Yeah, Electrode right over here. Need a Leaf Stone for it. And then I need that Weavile. Need that Razor Fang too. So yeah, that's it. Wow, that's like literally less than 10 Pokemon. So good. All right, we're going to go ahead and turn in what we have over to the Professor. Samurott Duat extra 40 points and then we gotta go oh boy all right so let's hang out here in the space time distortions and see if we can get ourselves a sneasel or a weavile should be good anyway thanks for hanging out guys two and a half hours in the stream we legit have to grind right now it's uh it's it's very grindy it's very grindy right now so honestly not too bad if we look at our pokedex um if i do it by the obsidian field lens we can kind of like figure out, okay, who's level who's level 10 and who's not? Shinx, Buizel, uh, Rapidash, I gotta go figure out what it needs to do. Defeat it with water type moves, use Fire Blast, Strong Style moves, Alpha Specimens, how many of them have you caught? Silcoon, we gotta go mess around with. Uh, Cricketot, I mean, that's easy. Cricketune, I could go mess around with. Cricketune, caught without being spotted. Seen, use X Scissor. Yeah, it's, it's literally all of that. Scared it off with a Scatterbang. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> wow. Uh, anyway, good to see you guys. Thanks for coming. Um, audio issues? I don't know. I don't know about that. Click on refresh and see if that helps out. But uh, yeah, it might, um, might be the device thing. Anyway, good to see you guys. Thanks for coming out. What's up, uh, Lefty? <laughs> Does, <laughs> Lefty's out here asking for Kranidos and Shield on. Yikes. <laughs> Those are some rare spawns. Uh, you know how to get them normally, right? This is, yeah, there's a lot happening over here. Dustox, Scyther, I gotta continue doing. Snorlax, Alpha Specimen, I already caught it. Defeated, use Double Edge. Honestly, we can go through every single one of these. We can do, every, except for Cherim, Cher, Cherubi, I evolved mine without, <laughs> without thinking too hard about that. Uh, anyway. Good, good. Yeah, definitely refresh the stream if you guys are having issues. So anyway, it's good to see you guys. I'm down to grind. Are you guys down to grind too? Like we can start one Pokemon at a time. Like seriously, one Pokemon at a time. Um, Gyarados, Mr. Mime, Staraptor, all of these Pokemon are all over here in Obsidian Fieldlands and we can get them all going. It's not hard. Togepi, I don't know how we're going to get Togepi in Obsidian Fieldlands other than grabbing one and just like using Draining Kiss the entire time, like 12 times, uh, to gain three more things. Yeah, that's really it for Togepi. Yeah, let's let's just grind for a little bit. Uh, trying to get Cherubi for hours, Infernal 216? Dude, I'm telling you, man. It's a grind. It is a grind and a half. So anyway, let's, uh, let's knock out. Let's figure this out here. Uh, Shinx? A grind and a half. Let's see what Shinx needs. Um, catch, number caught, defeated with ground type moves. Okay, that's fine. We got some fodder right over here for ground type moves. Yeah, Deanne, we would honestly have to go over here and um, not, or just like use Togepi and Draining Kiss 12 times in order to finish out his Pokedex entry. Unless I want to go over to the, um, into the area where he's found and catch a whole bunch more. 
But an oh, space time distortion just here. Oh my gosh, yes, just as I started talking. This is great. Oh, thank you. Thank goodness. Let's go, Mara. Let's go, Mara. I need this. Just in time, Sherry. Just for you. Although I'm very excited about getting level 10 with all the Pokemon. Like, seriously, I'm very excited for doing that. It's just, it's just grinding. It's just grinding it out. I've never had to do that before. Like, in my first playthrough of the game, it was just like, alright, like, get all the Pokemon, get Arceus, and cool, that was a fun 50, 60 hours. <laughs> and now it's like, oh, well, now I've got all of you guys to hang out with, and it's so much more fun, right? It's so much fun, more fun to uh, figure this all out. So anyway, here's hoping I get the Sneasel. Uh, Sneasel is going to be in that pool, and possibly Weavile, too. And I have plenty of Pokemon to help out um, with this area, so... Anyway, there's Paris. What? How that Paris escape? Get out of here. Who's in here? Buizel? Bidoof? <clears throat> Bo barrel? Bo barrel? Bo bye. Hello. Oh, unbelievable. That's a B barrel. What does B barrel want for his deck entry? Uh, bite, strong specimen, number defeated. I guess I could defeat two more of them. Yeah, come here. <laughs> come here, B barrel. Enjoy. Wow. People legit asking for a spirit tomb in chat? No way. I'll trade it right back, I promise. Come on. <laughs> wow, that's so funny. Uh, I mean, no offense. What's up? What's up, Piano Ninja? How are you? Welcome. Thanks for coming out to our little hangout over here. That's, that actually makes me chuckle a little bit here. That's like the ultimate lazy person's ask. No offense. No offense, please. Don't take any offense for that. The like, I'm too lazy. I don't want to go around catching all the spirit tumors. Please, just trade it over to me. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Who's this? Who's this? A uh, Cricketot? Defeated? Uh, yeah, I could beat up. Oh, caught without being spotted? Mm, given food? Eh, not worth it. I already got spotted. These guys are not worth anything. Look at this thing. <clears throat> Enjoy some mud, kid. Ultra balls. Is it worth an ultra ball? I, I guess. Cricket dot. Paris, man. This guy. Alright. We got the lay of the land, nature's pantry here. Okay, come on. Just waiting for the Sneasel to show up. Just want it. Look at this guy. What do I need from him? Oh, he's already level 10. I don't really care about him. Hi, buddy. Hi. Oh, oh, you wanna play Chase? All right, all right, I'm chasing you. Oh, Zubat, cool. Yo, those things have some really good eyeballs. They can see me from a mile away. Dude! Zubat, uh, defeated with rock-type moves. Yeah, I'll fight, let's go. Squaring up against Dialga, good luck. Yeah. I'll go beat up the other Zubat too while we're waiting. Love that. Come on. Here we go. Yo, finishing the game is just gonna be so many levels of finishing Pokemon Legends Arceus. 
right? What do you consider finishing the game? Beating the main story? Yeah, sure, that's finishing the game. <laughs> all right? We've already done that. Finishing the game for me right now is going to be collecting all the Pokemon and, you know, having a 242 Pokedex. And then, that's not even finishing the game, right? You can also say, all right, well, are, the, are all the Pokemon Pokedex entry levels 10? So you can get the shiny charm? Uh, yeah, that's finishing the game. And then you can say, all right, well, do you want all of the Pokedex levels to be perfect? Then that's really finishing the game. And then you can take a step further. Do you have a full shiny dex? Do you have a full alpha dex? That's finishing the game. <laughs> this game goes on forever, man. Depends on how, um, yeah, how, how ready you are for it. Come on, space-time distortions. Let's go, let's go. I just need this Weavile, please. And I don't want to go catching a whole bunch of Hisui and Sneasel to get the Razor Fang. I don't want to do that. Who's here? Is it Thunder Time? Thunderdome? B barrel. You. I was gonna say, you didn't. You didn't just run away from me. From inside the space time distortion, we catch a Zubat. Thank you. Needed that. Hello. Knock, knock. So which level of completion in Pokemon Legends Arceus are you guys planning on doing? Nick says he wants to uh, try for the full Pokedex. Well, what's full? That's a subjective term. Full Pokedex? Uh, defeated with fire type moves? Yeah, I've already gotten him. As in, like, catch one of every species kind of a full Pokedex? What are we talking about here? Come on, where's this distortion at? Caught without being seen. Here it is. You ready? Let's go. I know this area like the back of my hand. Come on. There we go, there we go. Okay, okay, Sneasel, come on. Come to Papa. Keep an eye out if I got any good evolution items. I'm not looking at them. Who's this? There you are! And a Gengar! Oh my gosh, and a Gengar! Okay, wow, things are crazy right now. Welcome back, everyone. We're here in a space-time distortion in Obsidian Fieldlands. A Gengar showed up and a Sneasel. I need to get these guys. I need to get these guys now. This is insane. I need a move that's not very effective. I don't know what to do. I just, I'm gonna throw an Ultra Ball and hope for the best. There's a Gengar on screen. I need it. Thank you. Okay, Sneasel's done. I got the Sneasel, I just need the Razor Fang now. Okay, that's not what I wanted, ow guy! This is gonna save me a Linking Cord! Level 60? This is gonna save me a Linking Cord so bad, I'm so happy. Here's a regular Power Gem, please don't get a crit, I need this so bad. Good! Hypnosis put me to bed. Come on, Gengar. I don't want to spend Mirror Points for a Linking Cord. Thank you. I love this game. Let's go. Thank you so much. It's exactly what I needed here, baby. Got the Gengar. There's a Magmarizer. Boo. I already have a Magmarizer. There's another Sneasel, which is great. Um, I'll catch another one because I'm going to evolve one into Weavile. Um, so I might as well just do this. Hopefully throw another one. 
We got two Pokemon that we needed. I'm so happy. Three? No, you're not going to do that. Of course you're not. Slash. He's 54. I think he can take a light Earth Power. I'm going to do a light Agile Style Earth Power and here hope that we can uh, knock this out. Not knock this out. Perfect. That's good. Poison Jab doesn't affect me. Sorry, guy. All right. Next up. Throw the Ultra Ball. Come on. Yes. That's two static encounters in here. Please, one of them be a Weavile. I got the Razor Claw. Oh my gosh, we're so lucky. Oh, this is great. He dropped the Razor Claw for me. How nice of him. Oh, I love that. I just need merit points for Leaf Stones and we're good. Give me some other spawns. Haunter, Leafeon? I don't care about Leafeon. Dude, this was big hype in here. Oh my gosh, how lucky are we? We don't have to go grind for the Razor Claw anymore? Oh my gosh, I'm happy. So good. So actual good. Uh, Ursa Ring? No thanks. Okay, I'm just, I'm really out here trying to find evolution items. I don't know if I will. There's another Sneasel. Uh, that's fine. Come here. I'll fight you. Alright, so we got three Sneasel. No Weavile in the space-time distortion, but that's okay, because we got... We got all the evolution items needed. I'm gonna catch another one, just in case someone needs one. Will someone trade me a Spirit Tomb? Leafeon has a chance for a Leaf Stone? Um, okay. Well, I mean, if I see another one, I'll try to, I'll try to beat it, but we'll see. I don't know about that. Uh, Onyx, Sylveon, uh, Lickitung, don't need them. Red Shard, don't need that either. Onyx, Sylveon, and Lickitung. Come on, spawn me some new dudes. Lickitung, Onyx. Why am I going to waste my time with that? Stardust? Don't need it. Red Shard? Green Shard? Nada, man. Onyx, don't care. Respawn into someone good. Ursaring, don't care. Haunter, don't care. I guess I'd have to take a look at an item list and see which Pokemon drop what items and at what percentage. There's an Eevee, there's a Ursaring, and a Haunter. Don't need those. I mean, I think I've picked up literally every shard there is in the area, so I, I don't know if I got anything good. But that Razor Claw? I'm in. I'm in for that. Eevee, Eevee. Cool. Hi, guys. Okay, you guys just want to battle. I don't need Eevee. But I'm sure... Yeah, I have it on level 10. If I catch 25 of them, that's pretty good. I almost have the perfect... Um, I almost have the perfect deck entry, so I might as well throw uh, an Ultra Ball at it. I mean, what's it going to cost me? Two turns? Get out of here. Might as well throw an Ultra Ball at it. That's exactly the attitude. Here's an Earth Power. If you survive it, I'm catching you. Good work. Oh, you are getting Earth Power now. Um, I'm really afraid. Watch it use Earth Power and knock me out. Wow. Okay, Eevee. Let's go catching 25 of them for the perfect one, getting a shiny Eevee Lucian team. Nope. Okay. Disappeared and turned into a Lickitung. Great. Yeah, so we need a Sunstone. Sunstone. We gotta find out which Pokemon drop a Sunstone. Three Lickitung? Gross.
I can't believe we caught a Gengar. Toxicroak? Where's the third one? Who's the third one? Who was it? Okay, see you later, guys. Thanks so much for everything. Thanks for the memories, man. Wow, thanks for the memories. Look at that. Space-time distortion was so good. Uh, items in my satchel right now. Let's go take a look. See my Pokemon. We got a Gengar. That's so good. Look at these guys. Here we go. Sneasel. Regular old Sneasel. I... Yeah, there's no way that a Sneasel is going to turn into anything else of day or night. So we're just going to use the Razor Fang now. A razor claw, razor claw, razor claw, razor claw. I, two of them? Okay. Didn't even realize. Great. Wait, incompatible. It has to be at nighttime. Okay, got it. Got it. That's probably why. Woo! I'm still on that high. I'm still on that high from that. That was perfect. So now we just got to go hang out in... Um, we got to go hang out in Crimson Mirelands to go get some Typhlosion. And I'm golden. Look at this. Nighttime Sneasel with the Razor Claw. Do it. I got two of them. So literally, Gengar is done. I need Leaf Stone and Sunstone and Ursa Luna Stone. And we're good, man. So I can do some digging around for Ursa Luna. Should be all set. Okay, Weavile's done. I'm so happy about that. Weavile doesn't need to be in my team. So let's do this. Want to see some Pokemon? Yeah, yeah. Here, dude. Samurott doesn't need to be in my team. Who's good? This 85 Garchomp? Sure, whatever. Just hang out with us for a little bit. Wow. Two of the missing Pokemon. That's great. Big Weavile. So, yo, if any of you guys need a Sneasel, I got you covered. Let's trade. Sneasel for Spiritomb, yeah? Is that fair? Gosh, I can't believe my life. It was good. Okay, uh, let's let's go back to the village. I don't think I need to be here anymore. Uh, let's go to Crimson. If we go to Crimson Mirelands, I could just look around for Ursa Luna's item. I want to say when I played this game before, I was able to get Ursa Luna's item just by looking around in Crimson Mirelands. So we got a Magmarizer in that. We also got a Razor Claw. Oh, we got Grit Rocks? How in the world are we getting Grit Rocks, man? Yeah, I should really favorite all of these things. Yeah, okay, I think we're good. These are all the Pokeballs that we need. Uh, it is a Jet Ball, 23 of them. This is great. 23? Mm, no, let's go to like 50. I think going to 50 would be the safest. Man, we are so close to this Pokedex being done. I'm so pumped. Unknown, doing an entire unknown video would be pretty intense. All right, here we go. Crafting materials, I need a lot of these. Let's do 100. 100 of those. Um, I need 100 of these. And yeah, I, I'm good. I just needed that. All right, here we go. Wing balls or jet balls, 52. I'm done. Goodbye. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Leave the starters with the professor, man. Ooh, Ralt's shiny. Ah, oh, I love that idea, but we're going to Crimson. We're going to Crimson because I need Cyndaquil, Quilava, and Leafstone, Stun Leafstone, Sunstone. So now it's just a matter of... Let's kind of fly around a little bit. Let's try to wait for a space-time distortion. And we might get it. We might get it. And I'll be sniffing around on Ursa Luna too. Which is... I don't really like doing that. Ursa Luna, go find your evolution item. Go you! I guess that's what we'll do. Yeah, you, you're pretty good at that. All right, so let me climb over this way. Ursuline was like looking for help this way. It's hot and cold. Oh, gross. I guess, is there an, a 100% spot? 
somewhere in the overworld that if you dig with Ursa Luna, you'll find the spot. You'll find the item. It was probably where I was at. Oh, he's running. What? Oh, here we go. Please, please be it. A ball of mud. Boo. <laughs> Boom. Come on. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're really just looking around now. Whoa, what in the world just happened? Okay, cool. So we looked around over here. Uh, let's see. With Braviary, I guess I'm going to fly a little bit farther here. We're going to go across the ways over to here, and ho I hope... I hope that this is where we can get that uh, Ursuline item. Tangrowth, don't talk to me. Something near it, though. Come on. Not here for that. Just tracking. Just tracking it. Okay, so if I go up here... Oh, right in this area, huh? Good boy. Let's go find your, find your evolution item. Find your evolution item. Right here. Moonstone. Come on, guy. Well, I mean, if you found a stone over here, that's great. But I need it to be a leaf stone or a sunstone. Thank you very much, you bear. Come on. Come on. We can you imagine riding on a bear? Anything? Nothing, huh? Nothing, huh? How about now? Okay, here we go. We're we're on the trail. Come on, wishbone. Wishbone, you're on the trail. Let's go. You're hot and cold, man. I guess we're going up here by the onyx. Oh my gosh, I almost got launched off the mountain. Here we go, right by the onyx. It's an iron chunk times 10, and we get destroyed. Wow, iron chunk times 10. Perfect. Not what we're looking for, bear boy. What are we looking at? What should we play today? We should play a game called Find the Ursaluna Item. Right here. Got it. Star piece. Nope. Come on. Hello. Anybody home? Pick up some honey for the bear? I mean, if I do see a rock deposit, I will absolutely come off and uh, attack it open, because maybe one of the uh, leaf stone will come out of it. Black tumblestone iron chunks. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh, we are running. Digging, digging. Star piece, come on, man. No, no, no. This is not what we're looking for today. Yeah, yeah, I like that idea a lot. I like that idea a lot, a lot. Let's go. Ursa's ring? Let's go dig around in Ursa's ring. It's a beautiful idea. It makes perfect sense. Good job. All right, let's go. It's all the way down at the south, so we'll fly over there. That would make sense. If I were to hide the evolution item for Ursa Ring, I would throw that in the area entitled Ursa's Ring. Yeah, that was it. Okay, Ursa's Ring is right over here, so we're golden. Ursa's 
Ursa's ring. Close. Close to it. Alright, here's Ursa's ring. There's nothing ring-like about it. B-Barrel, nice to meet you. Okay, I'm out here in Ursa's ring. We are trying our best. Tony the Graveler, thank you. Why would I use Power Gem? <laughs> Please self-destruct, Graveler. <laughs> um, I mean, since you're here, I guess you can... You can join us? Oh, he's, he's like walking towards us. I might as well. Yeah, yeah. I know you can get these items on a quest, but I also know that you can... Is that a shiny? You can also get them not by doing a quest, so there's that. If I come to a point where I don't find this item in the ground, and I want to use the peat block quest, I can absolutely do so. Shiny green bear? No shiny green bear. What is that? Is that a Pokemon? Oh, that's you, dude. So this is a place called Ursa's Ring. I I found it. I think I may have found it in like Obsidian Fieldlands. I honestly don't remember where I found it before in my previous playthrough. It's kind of annoying. You found it in an area where you fight Ursa Ursa Ring. Oh, where you fought Ursa Luna in the area? I don't remember where we fought Ursa Ursa Luna. That would make sense, though. Where did we fight our Saluna? Over here in Sludge Mound? I don't know. You tell me. See, that would make sense. That would make 100% sense. Okay, bear. Right here. Sunstone, baby! Yes! Oh my gosh, we're so in this. That's amazing. This is where we found Ursa Luna, right? I needed that Sunstone. That helped out so well. We got Petalil now. It's great. Welcome, welcome. We're in it. Yeah, so over here in Gape Jog, or sorry, Gape Bog, Gape Jog, Bog? <laughs> Gape Jog? <laughs> over here in Gape Jog, we have not gotten it yet. He, ap he it appears that he's trying to get it over here. No, no, I don't like digging that. Okay, camera, help me out here. We got the sunstone? Please find me a leaf stone, though. Come on, be it, be it, be it. Ball of mud, and we get sprayed. We get acid sprayed. Come on, Ursa. I mean, it's not it's not all bad. What we're doing is like looking around with Ursa Luna. It's not bad because like we're kind of waiting for the space time distortions to spawn. Why we're trying to do that? Gape Job Og. I didn't do this side. Cotton Singe Prairie. I don't know. I don't know where where it could possibly be. I want to say that I dug mine up in like the Tidewater area where the Bee Barrel are. Okay, let's see. Let's see Ursulina. 
Remember we were doing a search for wood? It was like the hardest thing to find. Space time distortion, and this is the Ursaluna item, bet. Dang it, hardy grains dug in the ground. Okay, space time, space time, space time, let's go, let's go. Cyndaquil, I need some fire vibes. Let's go, fire vibes, that's all I ask. Give me some big fire energy right now. Is there anything in here? Just need a leaf stone now. Geo dude. Alright, alright, this is great. And we were just talking about that. I'm like, look, we're not wasting our time walking around here for nothing. No, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. He he wants to go over there, but I'm chilling in the space time distortion, buddy. I I get that you're gonna find us an item, I get it. Once we're done with the space time, we're gonna go get it. Nobody here. I can go catch those Toxicroak. I can catch these Boo Doo. Ba Doo. Ba Doo. Can't duck when you're in the water. Thank you. Brava Arena by the lake. Good tip. I'll take a look once we're done with the space uh, time distortion. Someone write that down. Great. I'm getting poisoned. I need to be at full health for this. Can you not? Thank you. I keep on getting poison damage. Roselia, don't talk to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, here we go. Game time. Let's go. Cyndaquil. Quilava. I need you. Who's here? Who's here? Who's this? Stop. Porygon? No. Eevee. There we go, there we go, there we go. That's what I need right there, just you. Thank you. Oh, Cyndaquil, perfect. He's one of the static spawns right now. This is great. I'm going to Ultra Ball. I don't even care about doing any damage. I can switch over to Sneasler, do a False Swipe if this doesn't work on the first try. We're good. Perfect. Awesome. I can go do its Pokedex entry and then call it a day. I want, I want a second one. I'm not going to settle unless there's a second one over here. Okay, Luxray, don't care. A uh, two Porygon? Come on. <sighs> That's lame. That's real lame. And I got all these guys looking at me? Uh, I think I'm gonna run. It's not worth it. Okay, so we got one Cyndaquil. This is fine. Kinda wanna go do its Pokedex entry, like max it out, because knowing me, getting another Cyndaquil is gonna be really hard. Is that thing looking at me? No way it is. Who's here? Luxray, you're not touching me. Okay, so this is fine. We're just gonna wait for the spawns. I can go get another Porygon for the sake of it if I wanted to. He's like right there. I can just go snipe him. Oh, that Hyper Beam almost ate me. Cool. Got myself a Porygon. Here's an Umbreon. Uh, that's kind of cool. He's very docile. He's like, yo, come get me. No, he's actually not too docile. All right, here we go. There's a nugget. Protector. Dubious disc. These are not the items I need. Protector and dubious disc. No, 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 no. I got 20 dubious discs. I'm made of dubious discs. All right, I'm going to go get this Porygon. I guess that's my next priority.
I'm in this deep water too. Please catch. What? It's a perfect throw. I don't know what you're talking about. He was already uh, <laughs> angered, apparently. Eevee floats all hair across. Don't need them. Um, I'm good. I mean, we got a we got a little Cyndaquil. That's cool. Kind of who we're looking for. All right, we're gonna get that guy. Oof, ran over that float soul. Snorlax. Uh, I got one. I mean, everyone has access to the Alpha Snorlax. Wow, I'm so good. Dude, I'm actually so good. I don't know what he's doing, but something's... Oh, he was, he was doing a Hyper Beam at me. Yikes. Am I going to miss out on this Porygon? No, absolutely not. And this is an item that I need. Li linking... Oh, come on! I, I mean, I love the linking cord. This is great. But... I got... I need the... I need the Leaf Stone. Thank you. Oh, hey, Porygon. In the water? Question mark? Oh, he went really far to get me, huh? Knock him in the head, of course. Way too far. That is really insane. I mean, I can literally just go into battle with this Porygon and get him. So, what am I waiting for? Who are your buddies? Do you have any buddies with you in battle? All of them. All of the above. Okay, no. <laughs> no. And Distortion's gone. We did not get it. Okay, that's fine. You know what? We got our Cyndaquil. I'm happy about that. So let's go over to the Brava Arena and look around. I think that'd be a really good... Uh, we got a nice little juicy tip that over by the Brava Arena, we might, just keyword there, might be able to find our item that we're looking for. Can't confirm or deny, but we're going to give it a shot. Let's go, Brava Arena. Let's look over here. That was hard. Ursaluna. Well, wow. If Ursaluna is your last Pokedex entry, then here we go. You're going to find it with me, aren't you? You're going to find it with me. Geodude. Ow. All right, let's see. And the reason why I'm cracking open these ores is for the off chance that one of them might have my leaf stone in it. I remember finding a few water stone just by cracking these open, which was pretty good. Okay, you see something. You lost it. Not here in between these trees, excuse me. <sighs> this bear. This bear will be the end of me. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Right next to this tree. That's it. Star piece. It is not it. Okay, we're trying though. We're trying. Alright, well, let's take a breather. We're going to grind it out and uh, go from there. But since we did get... Since we did get the item that we were looking for, which was the Sunstone, we can use that on our Petalil right now and call it a day. I just gotta find... I'll, I'll come back over here. Let me just warp back to that camp. Okay, there's no Pokemon watching me. Let me warp back to our little camp. We're gonna use our Petalil Sunstone. I have plenty of Petalil, so I don't have to worry about not evolving it. Alright, I want to see my Pokemon. Petalil. 
Dude, these things are... Or do I even have... Yeah, I got Petalil. They're green. They're easy to spot. I don't have to worry about using the search functionality. I could find them. Here we go. Alright, items. Sunstone. I have it. Here we go. Wait, it has to be during the day? Sunstone? Right? Ooh, I don't know, man. We'll find out. Here we go. Wait, 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 why isn't Petalil evolving? Is that a leaf stone? Did I get that wrong? Or is it, hold on, this is not the sunstone. This is the moonstone. I grabbed the wrong stone. Okay, here we go. This is a sunstone. It looks like in the shape of a sun. There we go, done, Petalil. Okay, good. Easy. So this Pokemon is gonna be great. Uh, you guys remember the noble battle with Lilligant? We have it. We have it right over here. Wow, yes, Lilligant, awesome Pokemon. Has its own uh, signature move, too. Done. Name it. Name it. What's it going to be called? But that is going to be our last Pokemon of the area. We got ourselves a Linking Cord, but we don't need it, since we've already got ourselves a Gengar. Caught some Pokemon, got a Cyndaquil. I want to go over there and finish up Cyndaquil's like, little little quests over there and then we're gonna be golden we're gonna be really golden to uh find this last evolution item okay uh yeah i'm good so that's gonna be right um why don't we spend some time searching for that evolution item and a leaf stone that's it two more pokemon and then we are all good uh we gotta get unknown we gotta go get spirit tomb and then there's just a small handful left and we win the game. So I am excited. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Let's finish this game, yeah? We need to finish this game. I'm so close. I feel it. I can feel it. Can you feel it, Caleb? Good luck with Dialga. Oh my gosh. Ah, thanks for hanging out, Yoshia. Oh my gosh. All right, so where is this thing going to be? I'm going to take this uh, Cyndaquil in my team. And we're just going to we're going to work its entire... Pokedex entry. Because the odds of me getting another Cyndaquil are probably going to be very slim. So let's just let's just finish this Pokedex, man. Oh, I keep on sleeping. All right. Thank you, Daniel. Thanks for hanging out today. I'm glad that you were able to make it. Cyndaquil. Flame Wheel? Let's take a look at Cyndaquil's Pokedex entry. He wants to evolve. Don't you dare evolve him as soon as you catch him. Don't even think about it. I see you thinking about it. I gotta catch five of them. Oh my gosh. 15 Embers, 15 Quick Attacks, 15 Flame Wheels, Strong and Agile. <laughs> quick Attack Flame Wheel. Wow, look at this guy. Alright, um, what moves do you have? I don't think I have Quick Attack on him, so let's teach that. 15? Hold on, I gotta do click on check moves. Change moves. Uh, where's Quick Attack? Here we go. Quick Attack and Flame Wheel, those are the only ones. So I gotta see him use like, so it's like 30 battles. He's level 55, he can hold his own, I'm not, I'm not knocking him. So let's just use our best friend Cyndaquil now. Uh, I'm sure there's some Boodoo I can just beat up. There we go. Yeah, so let's do it. Let's actually find out if you guys have hard evidence on where where this item is. And don't say the quest. The peat moss in the overworld. Or does what's-his-name have a chance of dropping it? What's up, Andrew? Does what's-his-name have a chance of dropping it? I could use some help with that, because otherwise we're just going to be looking all over the place for this thing, man. Ooh, wrong one. Wrong one. Hardy Grains, Hardy Grains. They're in some flame wheels over here while we're looking around. I mean, that's fine. Like, we can continue doing that. Found it in a bog by the camp. Heat block and cobalt coastlands. That's the possibility. Ginkgo landing hidden on the beach. You know, that's kind of rare blue skittle. 
I think that's possible. I remember I was in, like, sand. I was near sand and I was looking around for it, so... I mean, if that's the case, then we just really need to grind out our, um... I don't want to fight a Psyduck. We just have to grind out our, our Water Stone, or sorry, our Leaf Stone, and then that's every single Pokemon in the game. Peep block, man. Magi style, let's go. Level 17? Oh, it's done. It's done. And who knows, maybe by grinding these guys out over here, I should be able to get a brand new, um... <laughs> a brand new shiny Pokemon. I don't know. A guy can hope, right? Um, Chao Cyrus, uh, the Leaf Stone is not for Umbreon. Hey, Pikachu! Or sorry, the Leaf Stone is not for Eevee Leafeon. That's not what we're doing. The Leaf Stone is for Electrode. I don't know if you can bring Electrode to that mossy rock. Can you? I, I couldn't tell you. Uh, someone's gonna have to test that out for me. That would be really cool. That would be really cool. I, I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing. But I found a Pikachu. That was nice. There's an unknown. Cool. <laughs> we'll get him later. Trust me. He, we're just not ready to go. I'm gonna get them all in one run. Chunk, man. Okay, okay, okay. More Pokemon, more Pokemon. Get the perfect de deck sentry. If that's the case, I'm going to have to catch five of them for Cyndaquil. But we'll see. I didn't throw that Pokemon out. I didn't throw Giratina out. Oh my gosh, help me. <laughs> oh man, hello. What's up, me? Ah, oh, J-Mac, what's happening? How are you? Uh, I'm well aware of how to get a Leaf Stone. I just don't, I don't want to grind Merit Points. I think grinding Merit Points is lame. Daniel says you can't take Voltorb to Mossy Rock. That would be so cool. Why not? Huh? Tell me, why not? Why can't you do that? It makes the exact same effect on an Eevee. So, that being said... That's terrible. Strong style quick attack on uh, this dude. Oh, you're running. You're running. That would be so good if you could do that, taking Voltorb over there. I just don't think it's the... I don't think it's a thing. We're just out here grinding this Pokemon. Cyndaquil wants to evolve. Let me see. Oh, there's Krikatot. That's great. Uh, Flame Wheel another couple times. Quick Attack another couple times. Seen it use Ember I gotta do. Hmm, Ember. Great. Strong style move. Agile style 15 times. That's not bad. Like, it's okay. Imagine getting the perfect Pokedex for the starter and then finding a shiny one. Can you... Go ahead. I want you to imagine that. I want you to imagine that right now. Is there anyone with a documented shiny starter from the space-time distortions? I'm legit curious. Wow, cool. Hannah, you got an Alpha Eevee? Sweet. Who are you going to change him into? There's only one right answer, and that's Vaporeon. Nice try. Can I go without 
using the merit shop for anything. That's the big challenge. I, I don't know if I'm actually legit trying to do that, but might as well at this point. <laughs> oh man. Flame wheel. Boom, boom. That's absolutely correct. We can. How observant of you. We can absolutely evolve our Cyndaquil. Good job. That's very observant. Good work. Come on, Bidoof. Whoa, whoa. Hey, easy, easy. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do strong style cookie text. We have to do <laughs> Ember still. Where oh where? Don't evolve. Don't do it. I know he wants to. He wants to evolve twice. He so does, but we're gonna finish out his decks. We're going to finish out his deck century because I made the mistake of evolving Pokemon way too early without getting their perfect decks. So, You guys are cool with me hanging out, right? We're just chilling. We're relaxing. I get to chat with you guys for a little bit. But I do need, I do need that Ursa Ring thing, so... I saw a couple reports come through chat. Um... A couple reports about something about... Who was that? What did you say earlier? Someone take note about... Um, which area was that? Cobalt Coastlands? Ginkgo Bay or Ginkgo something or other? Ginkgo Landing? Ginkgo Biloba? Ginkgo Biloba. It's got tumble stones, man. So why uh, why can you throw your Pokemon on top from on top of Basque Legion, but you can't throw your Pokemon from on top of Wordier? Why is that? All right, let's go. Let's go. So I'm also curious of um, Rare Blue Skittle in the chat over here. Cobalt Coastlands and Ginkgo Landing hidden on the beach. Is that consistent for every game file? Or is just digging in the ground a random item from a pool of things? Uh, Brava Arena Search by the Lake. Thank you, Poke, Be Poke Bleach Player. Give it a shot. Yo, we're using this Pokemon now. Getting that perfect entry. Okay, we're filling it out. Strong style. We'd have to do a couple more agile style quick attacks. Yeah, we're going. I don't want to beat up that thing. That thing's too strong. By the lake? Brava Arena by the lake. You're telling me. Hold on, hold on. Let me beat up these guys. You're telling me that all the way up there by the lake, there's the, there's the thing. I'll try it. I'll absolutely try it. Um, yeah, Daniel, um, what do I think of the game? I think it's amazing. It's the best Pokemon game in the history of all Pokemon games. There's no, there's nothing better than this game as far as anything goes. It's the best game. I just love how you can catch Pokemon and get the same kind of, um, you know, feeling of catching Pokemon. Just by, like, throwing Pokeballs at them or, you know, you don't even have to battle. It's just there, you're done. Where is this lake that everyone's talking about? Brava Arena. Okay, I'm gonna go over here really quick. Stardust Iron Chunk, no good. Brava Arena, there's a lake over here. You know, I was I was over here by this lake. What uh what happened here? Talk to me. What's the deal? Brava Arena by the lake. Brava Arena by the lake. Oh my gosh, come on, please. 
If this is it, you're a hero. Candy truffle. No, no, no. I think the pool. I think it's just a random pool. I think it's a random pool of items that could be found. I went straight over to Brava Arena by the lake. Did not work. We'll keep on trying though. Oh man, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna evolve our Cyndaquil when we've maxed out everything about his Pokedex entry. Uh, it's not it's not that much longer. Honestly, it's like maybe 20 more little miniature battles. And every time we do these battles, it's gonna help out with Pokedex completion. Unlike Cricketune, for example. So we're good, man. Flame Wheel. Okay, use Flame Wheel. We're just gonna keep going. Keep looking around, man. Uh, you found a leaf stone in a leaf pike? What is a leaf pike? Like uh, a, a bundle, like a hay, uh, like a little hay bale that's in the overworld? I don't know. Wow. Like those? You're talking about that little thing? Strong style. Yeah, a little leaf pile. Okay. <laughs> oh, leaf pike. <laughs> this is just turning into a, a fun little stream here. Leaf stone. Oh, spoiled apricorn. Nope. Am I going to max everyone's Pokedex entry? I want to. I want to. Let's just focus on... Let's focus on beating and getting Arceus first. And then we can go from there. But yeah, I, I totally want to do that. Like, no joke. I think it'd be so much fun to completely max out the Pokedex. And go for the perfect Pokedex. Would you guys want to be there for like these little grinding streams? Or we're just going to chill. We're going to hang out not really care too much about recording anything it's just hey you know what we're coming out here we're looking for some cool stuff maybe we'll find a shiny maybe we won't but uh, i'm not gonna do that until we start getting our shiny charm so this is absolutely not my last time playing i don't know where you're getting that idea from so there's that <laughs> what <laughs> all right uh yeah let's go i need ember you gotta catch them all, right, Ams? Oh my gosh, we have to. That's just the thing. Rhyhorn? Okay, let's do Ember. Do I get more power points by doing it? We'll find out. Yo, this this guy is getting a lot of attention. Black Tumblestone. Destroy in Paris like it's my job. Done. Yo, what's up, Leah? How's it going? Oh wow, Ember does not have any uh, power points. Interesting. Good luck for Magikarp. You need to use Splash a hundred times? Um, okay. That's so funny. I haven't honestly looked at all these things, man. I haven't even looked at all of these Pokedex requirements. But we can do like a live stream of like, okay, you know what? Hey, we're going to do today. We're going to be doing all of Rowlet, right? We're going to do all of Rowlet's evolutions. Or sorry, all of Rowlet's Pokedex research. And the next day, we can go through and do all of, um, you know, Oshawott's. And the next day, we're going to do all of Bidoof's and Starly's and just, like, kind of go through the Pokedex. That way, yeah. Minus catching, of course, because, like, 
Unless you're out here going through space-time distortions and trying to catch a whole bunch, like, that's hard. Catching Rowlet? Okay, that guy's... Okay, you know what, here, I'm not afraid. I would love that. I would love that. Boom. Carnivine, no! Oh, that was a crit, not too bad. Oh my gosh. It's just like, now I'm noticing like just how long it takes for Cyndaquil to legit get his entire deck entries done. That's like 30 battles. 15, 20, 30? Go! Yep, just like that. Throw the wing ball. Digging right in front of Adamin. Like, I get it. There we go, here we go. Come on, this has to be it. I don't have space in my... Item. What? For what? For what? That's... Ah, for what? Dig! A sunstone? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, is it it? Is that it? Did we find it? No. But we found a sunstone. That's cool. W weren't we looking for a sunstone before? Boo. We need it, man. We need it. Cyndaquil's almost done. I'm excited. Things I don't need in my inventory. Everything. All right, Cyndaquil, let's go. Let's look at your entry now. Where are we at? Ooh, so close. Strong style, I need to do three more times. Quick attack and ember. Yeah, we're done, man. Come on, Bidoof. I mean, Boodoo. Oh, this is good. I get to hang out with you. So who's all in lurk mode? Who's all in lurk mode not really talking? Come on out of lurk mode and say hi. Come and say hi. How have you been? Who's all here? I saw, I think some of you guys purchased some of the merch while I was uh, streaming over here. That's great. Thank you so much for that. D's always in lurk mode. What's up, Gamer Roof? Springy KH, hello, there you go. You're on my lurk mode, people. Smash Boy KH, excellent. Jimmy, hello. What's good, all of you guys? Hello, thank you for coming. Arav, cool. Like, I see all these other people that just don't really say hi that much, but I know you're there. I know you're there. Thank you for doing that. Just cooking some of that dinner, Sherry. What's for dinner? Uh, Alana Midnight, yo. Grisenti, Mockingjay, hi. Silent Smurf, Michael, Rosalie. I'm like two seconds away from like trying to find some other places to find this little item. Boom. Okay, that was not good. I ate a hit. Confusion. Twice? Fizz duck? Don't do it. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Fazbear? Oh, uh, Larabear? Cool. You've been playing the game along with? Just having it on the background? Awesome. I hope that you're learning. Uh, that's my big thing, is like teaching everyone about Pokemon. That's my favorite thing about playing. So I hope you're learning a whole bunch. Let's go. Gregory. What's up, Greg? Gregorian. I need to get this thing. Come on. Bear. That's an alpha. Ooh. Yeah, come here. What's his deal? Uh, number defeated, caught, different forms you've obtained, giving it food. Yeah, I'm not feeding this guy. I'm just going to destroy him instead. It's a 2% 2% <laughs> alpha chance, man. All right, uh, here we go, have some embers. Okay, let's take a look. 
I think I'm gonna stream for about maybe half an hour more. I think a half an hour would be perfect. And then what do you say? You guys wanna go do a little raid for a premiere? We go hang out in our premiere for the brand new tips and tricks tutorial I made today. Yeah, I spent hours doing this one, combing through footage. Oh my gosh, this one took forever. So we're gonna put it up at 5.30 right here, set as a premiere, boom, schedule done. Awesome. Okay, 30 minutes. 30 minutes and then I'm gonna evolve this Quilava maybe next time. I'll evolve the Quilava le next time because like right now we don't need it. I'm just out here trying to search for um, this dumb item. I could have sworn I looked everywhere. I'm gonna go look around Lake Valor for a little bit. Come on, man. Gotta get out of here. All right, here we go. Lake Valor. Let's go warp to the Diamond Settlement and we'll go from there. Okay. One of you guys has it. Where have you put this thing? It's gotta be here. And as I see Pokemon, oh, look, he's sleeping. That's an easy catch, but whatever. Here we go. Boom. Later, Carnivine. Uh, if uh, if you're looking at tips and tricks tutorials, man, Poke Bleach player, man, we got you covered with the playlist on the YouTube channel, so go give that a look. I got a video specifically for you with the EVs. With all the EV evolutions. Oh, look at this. What is this in the ground? Where'd that come from? Oh! Uh, that's a Thunderstone? Why? Why oh, is there a Thunderstone there? Um, yeah, I don't know. Boom. Yo, what's up, Belgium? What's going on in Belgium? What time is it over there? It's probably like, what, six hours later? Oh, it's the end of the night. You guys are sleeping. What are you guys still doing up? Watching my stream over here? Good job. Alright, here we go. Here we go. How do you find Firestones? Yeah, it's gonna be the exact same thing, man. Oof. It's the exact same thing. There's a chance that the stones can come out of the different ore deposits. Or you can use merit points, or... Yeah. That's it. I don't know, I think Cyndaquil is the best starter. Hey, Cheyenne, welcome. Thank you so much for becoming a member today. It's great, good to see you. Big member hype in the chat for a brand new member. Uh, Cheyenne, tell us uh, three things about you really quick. Where are you from? Who's your favorite Pokemon? And one other question. Let's go. Okay, Cyndaquil, you're almost there, man. You're almost there. Wow, wow, five more. Five more of Ember and Quick Attack. We're good. Okay, I think I, I think I see the bear over here. Honestly, it was like about a half an hour. It was in half an hour to just like search around, do some work. All right, here we go, five more. Grit Dust, cool, thank you, need that. Uh, Cheyenne's from Canada. You love Pokemon. You love cats. Oh, cool. Well, you fit right in. There's a lot of people from Canada around here. It's so good. Good to hear. A lot of people from Canada up in these parts. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, my Canadian friends? Dig for treasure. Here we go. This is it. Ball of mud. Don't look at me that way. A ball of mud. You do not have any right to dig that up. And I'm not about to use this move on Onyx, sorry. 
Shane, you got four cats? Oh my gosh, I love that. I love hearing that. That's so cool. What are your four cats' names? And what do they look like? Is one of them an orange tabby? Is one of them a gravy? All right, here we go. He's digging. He's going. He's going. He's going. Where is it? What? Get out of here. You want to fight? <laughs> I got an ember with your name on it. All right. What? Oh, good. The burn is going to help out with that. Perfect. Burn KO. Sweet. Where are you, bear? What? There we go. Dig. This is it. This is it. This is it. Ball of mud. I love ball of mud. That's unbelievable! Two more embers. Oh, cool. I love that. One more ember. Ah, uh, Cheyenne, you have a Siamese named Peach, two Tabbies named Drax and Zazzle, and a Himalayan named Mino? Mino? Cool. All right, all right. Shadow King in the comments. Um, take a look at my Pokedex guide. <laughs> to turn that pretty sure into an absolutely 100% sure. Got you all set with that. Go take a look. Go take a look. All right, here we go. Boom. That is just a regular old quick attack. Here's a bite. Wow, look at you doing work. Crunch. Done. It's fine. I needed a break anyway. We needed a break. Syndical's getting overworked here. Another time. Seen to use quick attack? 12 out of 13, so we're almost there. Vespi Quen. Okay, here we go. Go to sleep. I gotta do quick attack like three more times and then I'm ready to uh, put them in the Pokedex. We'll evolve them when we need to. And then I just gotta catch like five more. <laughs> it's terrible. All right, let's take a look. Uh, yeah, three more times. So his dex won't be perfect. His dex absolutely will not be perfect, but it'll be as perfect as we can get it without worrying about catching others, so. Ah, uh, almost four hours now? Yeah, almost streaming for four hours? Well, not too bad. I mean, we're good. We're, I can keep on going, but I gotta take a breather and go get some dinner or something. All right, come on, boo-doo, boo-doo-doo. Alphas are not shiny locked. You can catch shiny alphas in the game. You're giving away what my next tutorial is, man. <laughs> Xavier, man. Chill for like another um, another 25 minutes. And then we're going to all learn about alphas. That's my next Pokemon uh, tutorial video that we're all going to go take a look at. Look at this beautiful dex entry. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, that is what I want to do with every single Pokemon. Can you believe that? That looks so good. All right, let's get some hype right over here. This Cyndaquil has been overworked. We've seen him do everything. Pikachu! One Pikachu. Only that much money. All right, look at how much points this is for Cyndaquil. 520 points. With Look at that. Look at how many research tasks. That's a ton. That's a ton. Wow, well, that's... That's good work. We're going to go put Cyndaquil away for now. We're not evolving him. I'll evolve him a little bit later once we find this item. But honestly, I think right now I'm going to have to bite the bullet. I'm going to have to bite the bullet and find these dumb satchels. I don't want to, but 
these other places that we're going to, it's just kind of what it is. Gotta find satchels, and I'm gonna have to, like, spend my stuff on a, a leaf stone, then. Alright, that's fine. Who else is good? Who do we keep in our team? That Garchomp, right? Oh, that's a good bite. I really have to spend, like, ten minutes and organize my entire box here. I should put Legends in a box. I should put Pokemon that I actually use in a box. Otherwise, they get all sorts of mixed up. Boo. All right, come here. You can come with us for a little bit. Oops. I don't know why, but welcome. All right, uh, let's go Let's go find some satchels. I only, I only have a couple of them that are floating around, so uh, we're going to go find one in the Brava Arena. And I'll grind satchels for like five, ten minutes. Because this is what it comes down to. When you're running low on luck on all of the um, rare item spawns, that's what you got to do. This is exactly what you got to do. So anyway, Cotton Singe Prairie, we're going to come right over here. I'm going to warp to the Diamond Settlement once the Pokemon stop looking at me. And then we're going to go. And this is the boring part of the game for me. I wish that you could just spend money on the evolution items and not have to do a certain currency that you can only get by finding dumb things in the ground. Yep, that's my take on it. Okay, come on. Iron Chunk, Sky Tumblestone. Not too bad. Okay, got another satchel. Here's one right over here. So you pretty much have to find like about 20 of these things in order to get approximately the enough enough of the merit points in order to get your evolution items. So do what you can. And we still haven't found What's-His-Name's Evolution item. I might just suck it up and take that quest on. Uh, maybe for the next episode, I don't know. Or maybe for our next live stream. Because, like, honestly, Ursaluna is the only Pokemon that we need right now. We got the Sunstone, we are going to... I'm going to bite the bullet and buy the Leaf Stone. And then we need Unknown. We need Typhlosion. Yeah, we need Unknown and Typhlosion, man. Okay, here we go. Nothing particular happening over here. Let's go back to the village. Smash Boy, Evolving Basculin, it just, it's the amount of damage you do for recoil. Um, I'm going to look over here. It's the amount of damage you do with recoil. So, um, it, just case in point, if you do enough damage that you knock out your Basculin, um, like what, 300 damage worth? Just keep track of that. You'll be all set. All right, here we go. I need this block. I need this this little peat block. Peat block. This, I could have sworn I, this is where I found it too. On the beach somewhere. Hello, beach. Pinko Landing, please be it. Oh my gosh. Stop turning the camera. Go. Here we go. Please be it. No. It's just, I. it has to be a random pool. I don't, I don't think that it is based off of a specific spot. Like, you will find peat moss 100% here every single time. I just think that it's... As you dig, you have a chance of finding these 15 items. And they all have their own rarity, so... That's my theory, and I'm sticking to it, unless someone can say 100% that it's in one spot. 
Yeah, I don't think so, man. I don't think so, as much as I wanted it to be. Togepi! Hi! One does not simply walk away from a free Togepi. Of course not. Is there any others? Yeah, because that's his Pokedex entry is catching, right? You need to catch X amount of them. Yeah, I don't think Peep, uh, Peep Moss or the Peep Block is only found in Crimson Mire Lens. I don't think that that's the case. Chatot. There's a lot of Pokemon over here. I'm looking at every single one of these Pokemon, and I'm like, dude, I have to go through and catch X amount of them, and battle X amount of them, and just do everything. That's going to be so gigantic. It's a huge task. Dig. Find it. Candy truffle for what? <laughs> for what, man? Don't need no candy truffle in this game. Boo. Alright, someone's satchel. Where? Where? This grass is so thin, but yet I cannot find this bag. Is it in front of me? Is it below me? It's the side. No way. I'm just like randomly pressing the A button and we found it. Okay, cool. Uh, gonna come over here. We're gonna find this one. Yeah, we got like about 15 minutes left of the stream. Should be good. Cats. Here we go. Lost Satchel, sent back to Max. Got one over here in Veilstone. Let's go figure that out. Tumblestone, Iron Chunk. Southeastern section of Crimson Mirelands. It's a theory, it's a theory. Oh, that's a big Machop. Cool. Wow, that's a 2% chance of getting a big Machop. Love that. Anything else? Okay, hi. The bear. The bear necessities. Not seeing anything over here. Oh, I'm sorry. Where's my pin? There we go. Satchel. Okay, grinding satchels. I think we're good. Let's get out of here uh, once I'm ready to go. Beachside. <sighs> Southeastern section of Crimson Mire Lens. Dude, we look there. I could go back, but I don't know. I'm out here grinding merit points at this time. Let's see exactly how many we have. Let's go back to the village. This is rough. This game is, is kind of rough when it comes down to trying to find the luck items. Honestly, I've gone this far without using a single merit point, which is cool, right? Ninety points, ninety points. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
Okay, we got a thousand points. Let's actually see how much the leaf stone is if we want to buy it outright. And I've talked about this throughout the entire stream. I've never once talked to this person in the game. Uh, trading posts, exchanging merit points, and then you go over here and you want to get items. And leaf stone right over here is a thousand. So, boom. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. You get all of the evolution stone items for different amounts. So, pretty great. I don't know why you'd ever spend on one rare candy that's a ripoff. Um, so anyway, I could get the leaf stone now. Honestly, I'm just going to hold off. I'm going to hold off until we're ready. And we have the peat block. Peat block. Peat block. Um, southeast corner. I'll give it a shot. We'll go over to Drowning Meadow. I'll look around over here in Southeast by Ursa's Ring. I'll give it one more go. I'll give it one more go. Honestly, it, I think it's random, man. I don't know if you can get it over here with every single game. Chi, give me your source for where you found that out. Right, what's the source? And I hope it's not anecdotal. Like, I found it over here. So therefore, you can find it over here but I don't think that that's the case. I'm gonna go over here by Turtwig. I'm gonna fly all the way over 700. Let's go, let's go. Uh, Creases 10, how similar is this to Breath of the Wild? It's literally Breath of the Wild. It is literally The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild with Pokemon in it. This game like took so many notes from the Breath of the Wild team, it's not even funny. Although I wish there was Mifa's Grace, that would be really fun, but there's not. Iron Chunk, Black Tumble Stone. I'm out here trying to get these stones. Who knows, I might have one in my inventory. Firestone I got out of that. Did you see that just now? Come on, man. That's annoying. Come on, this is, these are your people. Ouch. One's coming after me. Yeah, it's a Geo dude. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is the southeastern corner of the entire map. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Please, Turtwig, hi. Didn't do that, but sure. Cool. Right, let's see. Ow, don't poison me. Dig somewhere around here. Please be it. Please be it. Ow! Can you not? What a little interrupter. Please lose and go away, you parasect. Probably the most annoying book. You're getting a strong style one now. Yeah, Yuki 8, I believe it's it's random. I don't think that... I don't think it's going to be... Whoa, wow. I don't think it's going to be the same for everyone. Ball of Mud, yeah, that's so bad. Parasect, dude. I found... <sighs> so funny. Waterstone in there. I found a waterstone in there. What in the world? Please. 
plump beans. Okay, that's cool. Leaf piles? I like the idea of leaf piles. I mean, we might find a leaf stone in there. Makes sense. It's part of the name. Wow, this is... Hey, Parasect, you're cool. Hey, b -doo. Hey, b -doo. Hey, Yon Mega. I'm out here looking for... I'm looking for the peat block. May I please have one? So it appears... Oh my gosh, he's, he's he found something. Oh, he's going. He's going. He's going. He's got something. He's got something. He's sniffing. Here we go. Ah, uh, an old verse? Well, we found an old verse. That's great. Old verse 13. I mean, that's cool. Maybe I'll eventually do a video on that. Take notes that we found it right over here. Old verse 13. Yeah, sure. Sootfoot, humble root, harvest it and peel it. A broiled, baked, and steamed will do. Just let nobody steal it. Mash the root, knead the mash, then once more heat it over. Grill it only till it browns. Use ember, not flamethrower. Now hearken well, listen closely. The wise adore potato mochi. A day spent eating all in reach is no day wasted if you ask me. What? What does that mean? What does that mean? It's not what I wanted. Not what I was looking for, but that's cool that we found it. That's like the only thing in the overworld that I would probably take note of. Because that will be there 100% of the time. Yeah, we're looking for this peat block. I... I think what I'm going to do next time is when we start uh, streaming again next time, I'm going to go buy the leaf stone. I'm going to buy the leaf stone. We're going to also then... We're going to also then just do the Ursaring quest. We're going to get ourselves a peat block. That's just what it is. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate, but... Unless we go out here and we legit find it in the, in the ground. There's a lot of Ursa Ring over here, like you would think. Yeah, I mean, we got enough. We've got enough merit points. I wanted to play the entire game without having to buy any of them, but that's okay. And I don't think that it's anywhere in particular in the overworld. Someone said southeastern. It wasn't the case, right? That was not it at all. Southeastern part of the map didn't happen. Top by the Brava Arena didn't happen. I'm really under the assumption that finding this is just based off of a pool of items. A pool of items in a list. Well, that's all I got, man. It's a sad day when, I, when we're out here trying to get this evolution item without doing the request. That's okay. Gape jaw bog. Oh, anything? Anything? Anything, Ursa Ring? Oh, you got something. Don't let me down, big guy. Don't let me down. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get easily turned around. Here we go, please. I've been waiting all day. Moonstone! Help a brother out. Help an actual brother out, man. Cast a fern, vivid choke. No way, man. It's just not in the cards. It's not in the cards, man. It is absolutely not in the cards. And I don't like this rainstorm either. I can't see anything. This has to be a leaf stone. Boo. <laughs> you? Hardy grains, medicinal leak? No thanks. Okay, okay. Here, you found something. Cool. 
Where? Bear? Bear, bear. Oh, he's so close. Here we go. Last one. Uh, wow. I have looked everywhere. I've looked everywhere for this thing. <sighs> nope, not happening. No. I'm I'm at a point where I'm not going to believe what anyone says on it because it's anecdotal and it's just random. So, prove me wrong. Please prove me wrong. That's all I got. I'm gonna go to bed. This is terrible weather to be in. That's rough. So, yeah, I think we're just gonna do that quest. Where exactly is that quest? I'll have to look it up. We'll have to look up where that quest is. Other areas where I didn't look? I could have sworn I looked all the way over here in Brava Arena. I sifted around through here. I looked around the shrouded ruins for it. It's just not a thing, man. So, unless someone can prove me wrong by saying, okay, exactly over here, right next to Brava Arena's lake, this is where it is 100% of the time. No, dude, it's anecdotal. And your best bet for getting this item is doing the quest. Dazzling honey is pretty good. I'll take it. Plump beans. It's great. Tumblestone iron chunk? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The quest is at the Wanda location? I don't know what a Wanda location is. I don't know who Wanda is. Okay, last one. We're gonna find it and we're out of here. Probably an old thing. What do you call it? Okay, this- oh my gosh, stop, 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 stop. I have it, I have it. This is it, the last one. It's as good- this is gonna be an old verse, I bet. Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is, it's an old verse. Alright, alright, that's so funny. Old verse number two, take note. Alright, oh you- uh, who at the world's far off end dwell. I know your wish. It is my wish as well. Uh, my own beloved is now gone from me, departed to a place I cannot reach. My old companions have left me behind. Their faces faded into days gone by. Still, to my breast I clutch this hopeless dream. A futile wish for us uh, once more to meet. Oh, you who at the world's far off end dwell. I know your wish. It is my wish as well. But ours are cold and endless winter days warmed only by memories locked away. What? What is that about? What's that even mean? Okay, um, yeah, I don't know too much about that, but we're not getting this, uh, we're not getting this peep lock unless we're gonna do that quest. There's a random chance, and I am 100% convinced that is a random chance that you're gonna be able to get that. So, until then, I think that's really it. So, anyway, guys, thanks so much for hanging out today. Uh, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna all head on over to the next premiere, uh, of some alpha Pokemon, which is gonna be so fun. So come on over to it. We're gonna redirect straight over there and Yeah, just overall have a great time So thanks for coming all of you that have been enjoying all of this entire live stream We can see over here that the premiere chat is happening join us Right over this way. I worked so many hours on this video. It's gonna be the ultimate guide for you So come on over um, and give it a shot. It's a video showcasing all of the alpha Pokemon in the game and where you can find them. And there's um, little things on screen, little chapters on screen that you can kind of pick up and click on. But yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, I really hope that you enjoyed it all. Seriously. All right, we'll see you guys uh, on the next one. Or I'll see you in the chat of the premiere. All right, thanks so much for watching. Catch you later. See ya. All right, what do you say?